Hey everybody, this is H to the Husky Husky here. Who is it? <laughs> Who the hell did I get on my stream? What is this? I don't if even he, know this individual. He, you broke up a while. You know who Husky Starcraft is? I know who Husky Starcraft. Star Starcraft is. I just haven't really watched any of his stuff. I watched a couple podcasts. Okay, he, does, he doesn't do he doesn't do Starcraft stuff anymore. He's kind of weird now. It's fucking, yeah, it's true. actually pretty sad. I'm yeah, sorry. He's like has blonde hair and he, he's like he's very Calified. I like, watched from California. Mm -hmm. Calified, yeah. I watched him on the co-optional podcast with Total Biscuit, Rip in Pieces. Um, oh, shit. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. How long has he been dead? He's been dead for like five years or something? Yes, he died in 2018. I remember because uh, I was actually doing my interview with Amazon um, when they were doing the memorial uh, podcast for him. Um, I was just watching like a video of him because I just randomly thought of it. And then it recommended, YouTube recommended I watch a video of him singing uh, Santa Baby. And it was a, uh, it was quite an experience. <laughs> it was like 14 years old or something. I was like, damn, okay. TV was a pretty good singer, it turned out. Um, anyway, Husky. sorry. Or Total Biscuit. Husky or Total Biscuit? Total Biscuit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't watch Husky Starcraft. He's not, a good, he's, not, he's not a good singer anymore. Uh, that's technically correct, which is the best kind yeah. of correct. Yeah, I got it. I, I, know, yeah, I understand yeah, why. Right. <laughs> It's just because he's English. Because he because he because he hasn't practiced in a long time. Yeah, it's, it's just better. And there's a there's a His reason for a that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes English accents. That's why he's not a good singer. That's true. It. Based and true. Fucking Brit bongers. I never like any of them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Nice. Indeed. Um, we can be we can be racist against British people. I'll allow that. That's fine. <laughs> I'm eighty percent English. Uh, I'm not. So I guess maybe I can't, but you can. So there you go. <laughs> Anyway, how do we fuck up a worldwide empire? I don't I, know. I, I was just talking I, about that with somebody, and just I like, reject my nationality. It's so tiny. Territory. Was I talking about that with you at Magfest? It was somebody. I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist. Yeah, okay, no, wait, I'm a scientist. Okay. Anyway, I'm we're sorry. here today to discuss representation in Magic: The Gathering. Patrick, me and you have played at least one or two games of this. We have thrown a magic card right or two now. at each other. You're playing right now. How topical. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing anyway. cube drops. Very did good. you ever play the Lord of the Rings set that came out? I did. I, I played, played the shit out of that set. Yeah? Like did you play Aragorn? Yeah, he's okay. There was a few versions of Aragorn, but yeah. Uh, you fucking racist. How dare you? Do you hate white people? Is that what's going on? You can't be racist towards white people. <laughs> That's true. I learned that. Many people true? have. Yeah, it's true. My ex okay. told me that. I think. Well, okay. not not. I think she definitely said that. <laughs> there's part, the, sure there's no that. question of whether or not that was said. She definitely said that. I had mild disagreements with that. It may have been on the cause of our breakup. Who knows? Okay. Anything's possible. Let's anyway, just redefine words. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Prejudice with power, Patrick. Always remember this. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, anyway, we're gonna talk about how Aragorn. In Magic the Gathering was black. You know, I saw yeah. the movies. I didn't read the books, but I saw the movies. And he was yeah, yeah, yeah. most assuredly not black in those. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I don't know how accurate those are. So maybe I'm wrong. So, you know. But a couple people got mad. One person who got mad. I forgot this person's name already. And I can't see it. The person who we're watching. It's like some guy or something like that. That's literally the name of his channel. It's like some dude there or something. I, I forgot it. I don't care. It's not important. It's in the description if you want to learn a person's name. Um, but anyway, we're going to watch that. And since I've played a magic card at least once, Patrick has literally played this magic card that we're going to talk about. So I figure he might be a good person at it. He's also like a gigantic bigot. So I figured that would be entertaining. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm only slightly like... bigoted. Patrick's taller <laughs> than me, so he's a bigger bigot. That's my definition of what makes like, you a big bigot. By, de by definition. <laughs> by yeah, definition. We're both bigoted version of a bigot. Well, we're both white, uh, so we're automatically bigots. Someone told me that, too. That wasn't my ex. That was an even crazier person. I know it sounds crazy wait, who, that someone who told you that. I don't know, the internet people. Um, I, don't, I don't know that a person I know said that, but I've heard this. <laughs> um, it's anyway. funny how these people just can't see the... Their what do you mean, these people? Way. Which people are those, Patrick? Retards. Black people? Uh, oh, wait, am I allowed to say that? I'm sorry. Yes, I don't care. You can say <laughs> Go for it. It's like, hey, you know that thing that I'm accusing you of? I'm going to embody that ideal. 
Oh, bro. cool, dude. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice one, bro. Wow, that's <laughs> uh, nailed it. literally the definition of hypocrite. That's, yeah, it's a little bit hypocritical. But, I mean, who cares? Yeah, just, it ultimately doesn't bit. matter. No, that's right. We're getting hard to hard Anyway. Okay. So, um, the, oh, yeah. Do you have... Okay, go ahead. Go, you go, you go. No, I just say we're going to watch this video. Hopefully have an opinion or two on it. Do we um, want to give um, our first takes before the video and then see how the video aligns? Or how do you want to do it? Um, I I normally don't even say anything until I play the video, but since you suggested it, let's just do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. Because um, normally my opinion will come out very quickly. Um, okay. I'll give mine first. Um, sure. I'm a bit, I don't know enough about the lore to really have a huge strong opinion on Aragorn specifically. Do I think it's okay to race swap characters though? Generally speaking, as long as it still works within the world, I think it's fine. Um... I don't think it's necessary. Um, I start questioning when people do it, um, just because I'm just like, okay, why are you doing this? Is this actually advantageous to your story? Or right. is there just no black people in it, so you need to make a black person? Which I think is generally okay, as long as I say, as long as it's still good, and it fits, like, it makes sense that Aragorn would be black. I don't know if it does, that's what I'm saying. That's what I don't have a strong opinion on this. But as long as he's like, I don't know, geographically, Middle Earth is diverse enough, and he's from the place that would make sense for them to be black, but I'm fine with it. Um, I don't <laughs> think that that's the case with Aragorn, but I'm not an expert. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my general take, is you can do it. I, I do recognize at least a somewhat hypocrisy that you would never do this in the other way. Um, yes. Yeah, that was, that was going to be my point. There is, um, there is some it, validity to that and some... Invalid because like clearly white people are represented in media, so it's not a big deal if you make a white person another color, but colored people uh I said colored people <laughs> minorities, BIPOC people, if you people will. of color. <laughs> yeah, people of color, POC, yes. I think colored is I think I actually might have done a bad. Oh well, who cares? Cancel me. I'm gonna get fucked. Um anyway, they're less represented. Minorities are generally less represented in media. Um so I understand why people might be a little bit I guess less happy if you do it to a person of color than you make the them term white. Is big mad. Yeah. Big yes, big mad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if they were big mad about it, I, I don't understand necessarily big mad unless they just were like, "Hey, all the Wakandans are white." I'd be like, "Okay, be big mad about that." <laughs> but if like I don't know one yeah, character, yeah, right. yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> if one character is and you're just big mad, I wouldn't quite get it. But anyway, yeah, so that's a that's how I generally feel about it. Was it? Was it? No, I know you did this for video games where you mm -hmm. you um you said that there there was like are African Americans underrepresented in video games and it's the, the fact that they're like slightly overrepresented to, based on their population in the United States. You said they were um, overrepresented. Well, you said what was it like twenty percent of characters are I, correct me if I'm wrong. I, no, it was like exactly representation. Um, mm. The dude brought up a study saying that like they match their uh, census data, basically. At least oh. black people. I don't remember if it co covered other races, um, but black um. people were represented. His counters were like, Madden offsets that, and then um, they weren't main characters, which... I don't know. The main characters, he might have a point, but... Right. His, his title was also, No Black People in Video Games. Which he disproved immediately by bringing up that <laughs> that uh, um, article. So yeah, I don't I don't know how it is in media in general. That was specifically video games, as far as I know. So. Um, I know a few. I don't know. I I'm actually undecided on this. I personally don't care. Not really. I think I would care more if it were a movie because it just mm -hmm. kind of it just kind of doesn't. It, it kind it feels for. Where it's just skin tone is there's like a there's a reason you, you, people have different skin tones based on where they where they they uh, they grew up right like closer right. to the equator or the darker skin you are it's just like mm -hmm. true and yeah. so if this guy is from like in lore is from this place and he's the only black one like it just doesn't make sense um, right I agree that's that's like my point is that if you if you have the world. If you have a place that's geographically yep. diverse enough and people can travel enough, then it makes sense to have black people. Right, exactly. Like, and in like I a think, generally white population. And so I think that I heard this. I just this is just like 
I heard this on the internet one time, and it's like in passing, so it was a grain of salt, but like, the idea of Middle Earth, like, it's like a continent or whatever, was supposed to be like a representation of like, um, like, it's just like another worldly Europe. Yeah, I think, I, I think this video actually talks about that a little bit. And it's just like, it doesn't, you know, if we're gonna play the part, it's just like, it doesn't really make sense for there to be anyone other than you know, white people, you know, as controversial as that sounds. Um, in a story where the artist says, hey, this is representative of my culture, uh, European culture, um, because if it were the opposite, like, say we had a, um, a, a, a movie about... Wakanda. Uh, yeah, Wakanda. Wakanda is a good, this good is, this is This is fiction. Like, Wakanda yeah. is just like, oh, well, the king's going to be white. Like, that would be fucking outrage. It would be, it would make um, no sense. Especially at the beginning, Wakanda is very... Secluded. Exclu uh, yeah, um, they don't is it? Is isolated. Yeah, um, so it would make almost no sense for there to be a white Wakanda. Well, it would make no sense for there to be now, a white Wakanda. <laughs> I'm glad you said Wakanda because I was going to give a worse example. But this is and this is the realm of fiction. Like these are made up mm -hmm. stories, whatever. Um, but they the, the stories within themselves have like there, there's a through line of like there's logic behind it. Like okay, like, you know, we can mm -hmm. we can relate. To it's an internal consistency. Internal consistency, perfect. Um, now, if we go to this is this is a thing that's happened recently, where there have been historical movies that have race swap characters, and people are just like, well, that's just, like people actually are just like, okay, like this is kind of going too far. Yeah. Like, um, what is it? I think it was Marie Cleopatra. Antoinette. Cleopatra or something. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. Um, was just like she was just like a straight up African. Woman, yeah, when she's like um, actually represented mostly in the Greek, movie, isn't she? Yeah, she was like, yeah, Greek. And also, Egyptians don't look like yeah, they, they're but, not uh, as dark skin. in terms of dark skins, right? Mm -hmm. They just have completely different. It's because I think they're largely like Mediterranean kind of looking. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and if we if we swap that, it's just like, oh, this is a this is a story about like uh, you know some some very you know a, 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 an African civilization, um, you know, and the, like the story about it or whatever, like. And you know they just replace like one of the main characters as like a white guy, and they just don't bring it up at all. Mm -hmm. It's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, like yeah, it, it doesn't make any it. sense. <laughs> um, and then you can go, and then there's a layer of just like, well, well, you know, representation, la la la. I don't know. As maybe as a white person, I'm white, by the way. You too. White. As a white can person, tell by maybe, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of blind to this. Because, yeah, you know, bit. most most of my the anti or the protagonists of the movies I watched growing up have been white. Mm -hmm. But there's would you there's say you're third... privileged? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm privileged for just being in a. Let alone. You broke up there. You're privileged for what? For just being an American. True. That's like strong privilege american privilege is real strong. but i'm not going to deny that being an american and also being white is more privilege and then also being yeah. male is privilege and also having like decent education is also privilege right well you went to pg county though. you don't you're dumb as shit <laughs> i did but i also went to like a pretty pretty good high school that i flunked out right <laughs> um fuck the system i want to learn your shit remember that dude told us like uh, education's gonna like kill you or whatever remember yeah, absolutely. And, uh, fucking homeboys party. Aiden? Is Aiden? <laughs> yeah, Aiden. We, we like Aiden. Yeah, um, we like Aiden. I was just like, that dude was on something else. Anyway. So, I'm kind of... Maybe I'm blind to it, but then I think about, like, there are movies that I've seen with, you know, black actors who, who, who play roles that, like, have, didn't diminish my experience that, like, you know... I thought were really cool. Think of like Sam mm -hmm. Jackson in Pulp Fiction, um, like that's an incredibly iconic role. Django and Django Unchained. He's a protagonist. And it's one of Tarantino's best movies, in my opinion. And I'm like, it, these these are leading roles for African Americans. It's not like it's impossible mm -hmm. to make one. So, you know, um, Morpheus. Think, Morpheus. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of things that are like people who are main characters. Main characters. Um, yeah, which Morpheus is, which would is, probably be the second one, right? Maybe second yeah, or third. Yeah, he's, he's the second. In the first one, he's the second. Um, most he's like a, and it becomes Trinity, most... like in two and three. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she died in three, rip. 
Anyway, yeah, so um, does Neo. Spoiler alert. And then she's the main character in the fourth one. Isn't that great? That's so yeah. awesome. I'm so yeah, happy about that. Huh? Okay. All right. All right. Let's fucking. All right. Let's stay on track. <laughs> I'm kind of rambling. Um. That's okay. I mean, so, it sounds no. like you're, no, no, you're no, no, actually no, pretty I, I similar was, to I was, me. I was, I was, I was getting to a point. Okay, I'm saying that good. there's there there have there there are examples of Af African American or a diverse um, mm -hmm. characters in unique stories, stories that didn't already exist as one, and then you just remade them and race mopped. So mm -hmm. I think you just need to. Well, this goes to another problem of remakes and everything. Hollywood's not making anything new, so there's only remake. So yeah. That's a whole another bag of cats or whatever. Um, bag of cats, yes. Bag, is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, that works. I understand what you're saying. So. <laughs> I don't know, that's just... I'm just kind of free smiling. That's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. No, I, 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 I think I, me I and you mostly think... agree. Yeah, yeah. There might be a couple of cases where we quibble on, but... I don't know. It's, it's probably... It seems like we mostly agree. I don't think this yeah. dude does, though. So, that's... <laughs> You just like if you're white, you should kill yourself. I'm yeah. like, okay. Uh, oh, it, it, it might be the other way. Kill. It just might oh. be. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, let's see what this fucking SJW. It's is. definitely not an SJW. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what they've got to say. Let me uh, switch over to my play button here. This Nazi. There it is. Who's Here's stepping? a thought. If you're gonna ignore what J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, why even adapt his stories? I already have a problem with this, Patrick. We're already starting off bad. He said, mm -hmm. why even adapt his stories? Adaptation already means you're changing something, right? Sure. So, why would you follow the strict letter of what J.R.R. Tolkien wrote? <clears throat> I also, um, I think... <sighs> or you, you at least don't have to, right? <laughs> As long as it's good, like you don't I'm, have to I'm follow this trick letter of everything. I'm just trying to think. Mm -hmm. When someone has when someone has the rights to something, so okay, so for for example, let's say J.R.R. Tolkien is still alive, but he sold the rights to Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. So anybody can like do anything with it for whatever reason. Would it be wrong to it's it's not wrong for someone to, you know, make it however they see fit, right? Do you think? Do you think the artist has any say in they, well, they, they literally don't have a say, but that's more legally. Um, I think there are probably changes that I would consider disrespectful. Interesting. Do you think this would fall under them? Uh, I don't know. That's, I, I don't know enough about Lord of the Rings to really say. I think so, probably. Just because I don't think Aragorn comes... Especially if they have other characters who are Numenorians, because I think that's what Aragorn is, right? Um, in that setting, and they're all white, then I would be like, then why is Aragorn black? Like, I don't get mm -hmm. it. That wouldn't make any sense to me. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. disrespectful would be the wrong term there. It's just nonsensical. Um, oh, you know what's a really good thing? Uh, did you watch House of the Dragon? Yes, I was going to talk about that too. Those uh, those dragon guys. I can't remember the name of their family. Um, but they changed them to black. They did. and mm. But they. this is an example of... I didn't, I didn't mind it because there was a through-line story of just like... There was there was a question of um, heritage. Yeah, heritage. That's a good. Yeah. Um, and that like basically it was just like the the a uh, black prince married the white princess, and then they the, they the black prince, and then prince. You're breaking up. Front. You need to repeat. They were just like, hey, you just. Uh, they 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 made an agreement with one another. Hey, mm -hmm. like, hey, you're gay. I'm not into you. Like. Let's just fuck Spoilers whoever we want, and let's dragon. go watch it. Let's, it's great. Let's Very let's good. just fuck whoever we want and just stay just stay married for the sake of like our, our parents or whatever. Mm -hmm. So later on, when she gives birth to her the her not husband's children, they come out as like just straight up white, and it becomes a whole thing. And like, um, the the race the race part isn't ignored and it's accepted. Mm -hmm. Or like it's uh, they they do something with it narratively. Yeah. Um, also, it makes some the... sense because they're from a different place because they're they're they have like dragon blood in them just like the Targaryens do, but they're from a different place, right? Yes. So yeah, it would I make I don't know anything about the geography of the uh, fucking Westeros. 
I don't even know yeah, if they're from Westeros. They might be from Essos. Wherever the fuck they're from. Um, um they're from uh, well, they all the Targaryens came from a place called Val uh, Valyria. Yeah, yeah, they're they're some kind of Valyrian, right? Yeah. So the the uh, the Targaryens and I forget the other. I can't remember their names. They they're the two remaining houses of mm -hmm. uh, old Valyria. Um, and what happened in Valyria, if I'm understanding, I didn't read any of the books, is like something cataclysmic happened where it's just like everybody died except for like a handful of people and like mm -hmm. all the dragons died and uh these two houses are the only two remaining right um so they came over to westeros and then just like fuck shit up yeah oh i mean it also makes sense even if you say the geography doesn't um allow for that kind of skin color it'd be like well they literally have dragon blood so they're not even humans or at least not strictly humans right um there's something different is that, about that. Is them. that true? Is it? Is that like... I always thought that was kind of like metaphorical. Like, yeah, there's well, like I mean, some magic to it. But like, some of them literally can't be burned. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there's... Oh, that's true. I, they might have the same DNA. I mean, they breed with people. So other humans. But like, there are already things about them that are different just because of their heritage. So it'd be like, does their skin color work in the exact same way as um, like a, a human would? Probably not. Or at least it's reasonable... For it not to, you know, and it's also um, I don't know if they explain this away in in the in the show or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, royal families tend to like try to keep quote unquote bloodlines pure. So, yeah, so if, like inbreed. the yeah, so they inbreed a lot. So that would explain why you know why is everyone from old Valyria white and this one family black? It's just because well they try to keep bloodlines pure. Yeah, um, I don't kind know. Of, I'm kind of explaining it away just because I kind of like Lord of the <laughs> or, uh, Game of Thrones, but. Yeah, House of the Dragon was dope. Yeah. Um, also, just to go with the adaptation argument, not even a race one, they changed... Um, I don't know all the details because I didn't read the book, but they changed uh, good old Vizzy T a good bit, and George R. R. Martin was just like, this is just strictly better than what I wrote in the fucking book. <laughs> yeah, that was by far the, the um, my favorite. Uh, yeah, he's a fucking G. Yeah, Viserys so I, Targaryen, I, I, that's my boy. I like him a lot. Yeah, that was... Uh, I'm not even going to spoil exactly what it is, but, like, one of his last scenes... Oh, my God. <laughs> There's two scenes. Uh, the one, obviously, where he's trying... Like, he's all decrepted, and he tries to, He's just to, like, walking? Descend. He's walking, walking for, like, three floor. minutes, and it's the best scene, like, ever. It's so and then good. And <laughs> the, the scene right before he died, when he's at dinner with his family, who yeah. hates each other, and he was just like, can we all just stop being fucking assholes? <laughs> just do this for me. Just do yeah. it for me. And then, like, you could see, like, a little bit of it, like, break through. Yeah, where and he it's shows his like, eye and shit, because he's literally no, no, falling apart. Well, no, what he's saying gets through to his family just for a second. I know, and, like, I think they, it was good. They, 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 just, they just start, like, talking and just, like, like, civil human beings. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he dies, and then it all falls apart. And sucks. But, like, that, that little glimpse of, like, oh, uh, all these pieces of shit are gonna be, are, are gonna shape up for, like, ten minutes for, in sake of this one dead, dying old man, who is, like, genuinely the one good person in that entire fucking family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I right, think, uh, I'm, just, I'm just rambling about how much I love House of the Dragon. Oh, that's, yeah. That's I, <laughs> we should probably get... I could ramble about House of the Dragon a lot. I fucking love House yeah. of the Dragon. Yeah, um, for sure. But we should get back yep. on. Anyway, <laughs> adaptation okay. Make it make sense. That's a TLDR from me. Yeah, make it, it it can be done as long as you make it make sense. All right, mm -hmm. let's. All right, we're three seconds into this video. Well, six seconds. Give us a fucking credit. No. Okay. All right, we got our nice animal fucking intro. Jesus, just some guy. That's the name of the guy. There we go. We did it. Several yeah. months ago, I made a video about the Wizards of the Coast Tales of Middle Earth cards. Now, I'm not into tabletop games. However, the Lord of the Rings is the source for most fantasy games, so it's a no-brainer to make something like that. In recent mm -hmm. years, however, That's Wizards of the Coast have leaned heavily into identity. What was that? Um, I don't know if I can argue that, but I think it's a little too, um... Lord of the Rings is the foundation for most fantasy. I, I guess that's true, right? Uh, it might be a little too... I th yeah, I don't know. I, I would probably just quibble over, like, what do we mean by foundation? Um, I would say it inspired a lot modern, of modern, modern fantasy. Modern fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay, no, don't say that. Um, so yeah, most, I'm, not, I'm not that worried about that. Like, magic, 
is clearly at least some of the worlds would be inspired by Lord of the Rings, probably, right? I mean, it's literally got orcs in it and shit. So. Yeah. Um, did orcs exist before Lord of the Rings? Do you know? I don't know. We should just have ChatGPT as, like, whatever, I guess. We just ask <laughs> questions. <laughs> and we just automatically assume everything is correct. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely true. That sounds good. I like the way that sounds, so I choose to believe it. That's how most people operate in the world. Yes, that's the correct way. Based. <laughs> Based and truthful. Yes, indeed. Okay. We're 20 seconds in. Let's go. 38. The politics. So there was no chance they could create this new deck and stay true to Tolkien's descriptions of his world and characters. No, Tolkien's okay. world in Middle Earth is too white and too male. So Wizard decided to ignore what Tolkien wrote and this No, it's not too white and too male. Orcs are black. See? Come on now. Oh, I've heard this argument. <laughs> I heard this when I was in middle school. Where I was just yeah, like super it was it was first came out. And like I went to an all black middle school, and uh, mm -hmm. I was like, "Hey, you guys seen Lord of the Rings?" And one of the girls was just like, "Oh, my grandma says that that uh, that movie is race, racist because all the all the bad guys are built like black men." And I'm like, I didn't even understand what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the all the elves are light skinned, and all the people are except for the the bad guys are like white people. Yeah. <laughs> like the bad uh, humans are like sort of like Middle Eastern guys. looking. Yeah. Oh, something. oh, yeah. Well, there's the there's the hill tribesmen kind of people, and then there's the uh, yeah the Middle Eastern like mercenary guys. Yeah, with the elephants or the elephants. Elephants. Those are big fucking elephants. Yeah, big, pretty, pretty big fucking elephants. Elef uh, Legolas killed one, and it still only counted as one kill. That's true. Oh, that's good. Wrote and instead race swapped many characters, specifically characters whose skin colors are described in the books. This obviously set off fans, which in turn set off the posers and virtue signalers, which in turn got the topic to trend on social media. Yeah, uh, the only thing I would say about that is just like, they might have just described Aragorn as white in the books, but as long as it still makes sense, I don't, I mean, pretty much repeating what we said before. As long as sure. it still makes sense, I'm fine with it. Um, and like, this is like a, this is like kind of a weird thing, because this is a fucking card game, there's no story, it's just like, hey, we like Lord of the Rings, so we're going to make like magic cards inspired by Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah. it's just like, it's like kind of like a non-thing right now, right? Yeah, uh, well, I know Magic has a story. I never paid attention to it. I don't think there was like a separate story for Lord of the Rings, though. Because oh, all the cards question. are, all the cards of it are just events that happen in Lord of the Rings. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I don't actually follow, the, I only just play Magic for the card game. I forgot there was an actual, like, through line story. That's funny. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. No. Which is probably what Wizards of the Coast wanted. What makes the situation different is that Tolkien's works are clearly inspired by Northwestern European cultures and are specifically built around English culture. Altering the appearance of the characters essentially strips away one of the things Tolkien wanted to do with the stories. Um. Yeah, uh, like, I don't know that I would say just immediately altering the appearance of one person. Well, I don't know how many people they altered, but at least Aragorn. Does that immediately make it a non-English story because he's a black guy? I don't know. You don't know? I, I, no, I guess not, but he's the main character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think Frodo is more the main character, but he is a, obviously, there's a oh, book, he's one of, there's yeah, a he's book totally... named after him. So. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 Reclaim the lost folklore of England. For those who are unfamiliar with Tolkien's works, he loved folklore, but was saddened that much of England's folklore is either borrowed from or heavily influenced by the French. The idea behind... Well, there you go. You make them black, and now it's even less French, because French people are white. See? Magic's trying to just continue the legacy. Already proven them wrong. Based. Based. Fuck the French, anyway. Goddamn snail eaters. I think I, I, I is that considered a slur? You think? <laughs> I don't what, know anybody. Snail eaters? snail eaters. Yeah, but it's the French. Who gives a shit? That's correct. Win a war, and then maybe I'll give a shit. It can't. Pretty sick. Right. Got him. <laughs> All right, let me. Uh, actually, uh, Hitler got him. All right. We're, we're... Uh, a lot of people got him. Okay. Jesus. Behind the tales of Middle Earth is to recapture those lost stories in tone, structure, theme, and culture. Mm -hmm. And it's that last bit culture that's important because culture is defined by the people who live within it not just by their actions language music and general activities but also by their appearances does 
the color of someone's skin define their culture? That seems like a really strange argument to me. I mean, ethnicity, ethnicity, and for the most part, for most countries or for most um, cultures, ethnicity and culture kind of go hand in hand, right? America is different because we're we're a country of immigrants, mm -hmm. right? I kind of see what he's saying, but uh, just like, good, um, uh, I, I, maybe I'm, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to interpret him charitably here. No, fuck charity. Okay. I don't give handouts, okay? Make your fucking point. This is an edited video. Make your fucking point correctly. Okay. All right? All right. All, All right. right? All right. You want to criticize me? Go for it. But I'm just speaking off the cuff. I'm an idiot. This dude made an edited video. He put lots of thought. Big brain. I'm going to treat him like he's smarter than me. So I'm going to take everything super literally, okay? Let's, let's try to breathe here. No. <laughs> no breathing allowed. <laughs> I will not breathe. Um, but... I, yeah, so, like, if you take a, like, all the immigrants I know who are, like, they might still be, like, fully Asian or fully black or whatever, if they grew up in America and they're at least, like, second generation or whatever, they're more culturally American. Well, yeah, so, that's So, like, the I, color yeah. of their skin didn't really affect their color. If they're, if they have Asian culture, oh, really? it's because their family still had it. It wasn't because they had a skin Most color. Most countries in the world are not like America. Like most. Yeah, I get I mean, that. I guess, so I, I would say this is like an exception of the rule. But why would why would the skin color be the thing that's actually determining it? It's just the location that's determining it, right? Sure. Yeah. If you put black people in France, like they're gonna be more French. <laughs> True. True. So I think he's just racist and a horrible bigot. That's what I think. Yeah. 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 Their appearances and the preferences associated with that are woven into their culture, folklore, and mythology. When you alter the people, including their appearances, you alter their culture. I I just don't know that the, I appearances maybe because if you alter their like hairstyle or their clothing style or something like that, that would make sense because that is like deeply part of the culture, like the, what we wear and how we style our clothes and everything, or and our hair or anything. Like, everything that I am right now is definitely a very American. So, um, but I, I don't, if, as long as he's wearing the, like, Numenorian slash man, Gondorian fucking armor and shit, but he just happens to be black, I don't know that the culture really changed much. Mm. Okay. Okay, I, do you disagree? I, you can tell me I'm a wrong idiot. It's okay. Um, I'm not a wrong idiot, but you can try to tell me I am. You know, it's fine. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still thinking of the um, his, his point. It, 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 this is all. This all hinges on the fact that um, your culture is very heavily influenced by your race for the most, for most of human history. Or, or in, yeah, influence. I'd say influence. Not, not completely de determined, but heavily influenced. Mm -hmm. Um, which, yeah, I think, I think that's reasonable. I think that's that's yeah. I think that's just correct. Whether or not that in, that equals, yeah, this is this is a tough one. <laughs> so if you take like a a black orphan. Orphaned as a baby, and just give them to a white family in America. Like, we can even say, like, an African orphan. Give them to a white family in America. Um, they never experienced Africa. Well, actually, I know an Asian person like this. <laughs> um, she I, was... I, she's, I, I, I think, Chinese? Or she might be Korean. I don't fucking remember what she is. Um, but she was, give, she was given up for adoption when she was, like, fucking three months old. Given to a white San Franciscan family. <laughs> And she doesn't know jack shit. Like, she's basically, a, she acts like a white no, person. No, I know, but, like, this isn't, like, the typical <laughs> experience, right? These these are these are all pretty much exceptions. Well, that's how we would determine if race is the thing that influences this, right? No. I'm saying, for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the most part, for most people's experiences, mm -hmm. their, their race influences their culture. Like, they're... Yeah, the, yeah. Why would it be the race and not just like their family's culture, though? 
Well, their 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 family is they're same color as them. Right. But then, it's, so if you take a different person and put them with different people, like the the race right, doesn't actually affect it. That's what I'm saying. So if you isolate the race, the race doesn't seem to change it. Right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that. That's why we're saying like if it fits within the story, it's fine. But he's mm -hmm. saying that, for the most part, through most of human history, like it's, this is just not how how it's been. Well, I'm not agreeing with it. I'm I'm just trying mm -hmm. to see his point in this. Yeah, I think maybe what I would say, the most charitable version I can think of his point, and he might mean this. I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, is if you take something that's trying to be based on like English folklore and you put black people in it, when English folklore would be based on white people because English people are white, then it ceases to part, be English right? folklore, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. just like historically, like in fucking yeah. medieval yeah, yeah. England, there wasn't a ton of black people running around. Yeah, <laughs> I'm true. sure a couple of them were there or whatever. <laughs> they happened to cross them in a boat or whatever, but it wasn't many, so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, if you're saying like, okay, he wants to bring back, like he wants to do a new take on English folklore, but he he thinks the English part is very important, then yeah, maybe changing it to black people is bad because it's no longer like English in that way, or it's not obviously English because mm -hmm. you start being like, okay, then why is this non-English <laughs> style person here? Um, but that's, to me, that's different than saying your race influences your culture. Because it seems like your environment influences it more than your race. Right, for, for most, for, like for most of, <laughs> right, but for, for most of humanity, you're, for most people, for most of humanity, you you were surrounded by people the same color as you. Mm -hmm. And that's the culture, right? Uh, yeah. That makes sense. But I want him to be a bigot, Patrick, okay? He might be, I don't know. Can we just paint everybody as a bigot? People do it to me, I want to do it to them. Okay, that's good. That's a good way of looking at life. Just spread, <laughs> spread the hate forward. Okay, yeah, that's fine. No, he's the hateful one. I'm spreading the love by calling him a bigot. And okay. I just lost my third match of magic. Dog shit. Well, okay. maybe if you played Black Aragorn, you would have won. You ever think about that? Not in the cube. Well, too bad. I guess it's so. because it's a racist he, cube. He, racist he cube. wasn't even that good at... I mean, he was okay in draft. Okay, let's go for it. With the rare exception are they inseparable, and Tolkien's works are no different. His work is an English story, and as a result, the principal characters are Caucasian. Isn't his uh, work technically an American story? Because isn't he American? Get fucking god nerd. Was Tolkien America? I thought, I thought it was. He was I thought it was. No, Tolkien I, was English. I, I have sure. no fucking idea. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just Google it right now. <laughs> I'm getting corrected live in 4K. Let's see, Tolkien. Uh, live in Northern Germany, most of uh, Okay, yeah, he's, he's like 100% not fucking... Oh yeah, totally English family of German descent. I stand super corrected. Get yeah, fucked he's me. Considered, he's considered an English writer and scholar. Get fucked okay. me. I'm so okay. ignorant. I only know that because I saw a, uh, I saw a movie, uh, based on his, like, upbringing and childhood. Oh yeah, that came up, that came out, like, British, a couple years ago, British, right? British as fuck, yeah, I saw it in the theaters. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I just assume everything cool is American, because okay. we're the best. US. However, Tolkien never states that white people are the only humans in the world of Arda. He says the opposite. There are the men of the South, Haradrim, and the men of the East, Easterlings. Mm -hmm. These two groups could respectively be considered black and Asian. However, they are not the focus of the story. Okay, uh, where's Aragorn from, do we know? <laughs> I'm guessing he's not from either of those people. Or uh, yeah, I would I would assume this. Okay. I would assume this. I'm just gonna assume it's not as well. Fuck looking it up. Okay? We don't do that here. Story. Tolkien's stories are chiefly about the elves and the men of the West, all of whom, according to Tolkien's descriptions, are white. So, it's fair for people to expect any depictions of Tolkien's characters to be white, especially in cases where he specifically states that they are white. Which... Yeah, but I still don't... I still don't think you can't make them black. I mean, I am just repeating what we said earlier. As long as it can make sense, then it works. The House of the Dragon Yeah, example, but I think, I think, I think in order to for people who are like curious or whatever, um, like, making in order for him to one, be black, and two, for it to make sense, you'd have to change a part of the story. 
Um, which, what we said earlier in Game of Thrones, it worked there. I thought it was, mm -hmm. it was okay. It was, it was okay. Done. Okay, you've done that. So it's not impossible, but I, I hear what he's saying. Well, what would you have to change? You would have to make it so Numenorians like, oh, are black? Oh, he was he was a he was a fucking orphan or some shit. I don't know. Well, he has to be like, Numenorian because he lives long. Yeah. Right? I don't know. So I don't know. Could I don't you know make exactly. all Numenorians I, I black? Um, I don't. Is are the so I don't. I never read the Sil Silmarillion or whatever. Are, are, I'm only going off the extended editions of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> are they? Are they like? A, are they like a people? Or they do they have like their own section of Middle Earth? Or are they like? As far as I know, yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know how big of a thing they are. Come you, uh, the that? Age of Man. It's like N U M E N O R E A N, something like that. <laughs> I can't find this fucking thing I need to get in fucking Elden Ring, Patrick. It's triggering me. I've just right. been circling, just looking for this fucking symbol. Just bad. But he's he's like 80 or 90 in the movies. I'm sure he is that way in the books, too. I don't know. Uh, the most noble race of men in the first okay. age. These... Okay, so it is a race of men mm -hmm. on the first age. Uh, the beginning of the second age of Elrond. The Durant... Something I think this words me. Um, yeah, I don't know if this could make sense, <laughs> given the actual strict history, mm -hmm. um, because they, they are strict descendants of the first men of, like, where Westeros, not Westeros, I'm sorry, Middle Earth is, mm -hmm. and if all these people are white, then it wouldn't make sense that he's black. I don't know, whatever, you can do it. As a reward for the service of the ship in the ocean... Oh, okay. Numenor. Most of the uh, most of the Numenor was settled by Edain of the House of Hador. Hodor, <laughs> who were who were Hodor. golden haired, golden haired and tall, with fair skin and blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you so can just I change think... that in your Magic the Gathering mm -hmm. thing. That's what I'm saying, right? I guess, but maybe I mean, it wouldn't yeah. make sense. I don't know. I'm I'm just saying, like, it wouldn't make sense if you just change Aragorn and all the Numenorians are just white fucking. German-looking motherfuckers, like that would that wouldn't make any sense. I would agree there, um, especially because you can't make him adopted. Because then why the hell does he age? Like, or why why is why is he uh, older than most men? Why does he live longer than them? So it still doesn't make any sense. Uh, but you could just change it, just like in House of the Dragon, they made all those black Valyrian folk black. Like they made all of them that way. It wasn't just one. So yeah, I don't. That's that's whatever. Yeah, so confirmed Tolkien to describe them as fucking white ass, tall looking ass. Yeah. Ass, 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 ass. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you there. It's just like, it's an adaptation, so we can change it theoretically. Sure. Which leads us to Blaragorn, King of the Posers. Tolkien describes Aragorn as having, quote, a shaggy head of dark hair flecked with gray. And then the pale, stern face, a pair of keen gray eyes. At least we got most of it, you know? We got still, we still got that. That's the flecked with gray, you know? A good looking guy. You know, yeah, he has gray in him for sure. Yeah, yeah. So you got two of those wrong, wizard. I don't see any gray eyes, and I damn sure don't oh, see any I pale skin. I didn't see his eyes. Well, it doesn't, it's looking, really not he's relevant. He's looking down and away. Yeah, but he's got the Aragorn and Arwen card, right? I, I, we don't need to look at it. That's Jesus not important. Christ. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> I just, I like nitpicking, Patrick. That's what I'm here for, okay? <laughs> I want big picture. I'm going to assume everybody's not a bigot. Come on. Nitpick what they say and make fun of them. Come on. Okay. okay. I also don't see Andoril, Flame of the West. I do see the sort of power from He-Man, and I'd like to know why you're not getting... Why? I... Does that really matter that much? What, is it just sword? because it's a uh, glowing that's a problem? The sword, yeah. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, why does he care? Like, is it really that big of a deal? If the he's, Andoril he's having the glow he's, on the He's doing what he's doing. What you're doing? He's he's fucking nitpicking for the fun of it. We're just we're 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 two steps. We're meta gaming him, right? No, we're I'm nitpicking right. His nitpicking. Okay, no, let's, no. Let's... <laughs> Yeah, it just well, he's this is a video like he's he's nitpicking how accurate it is. He just like, I mean, I, yeah, I guess it's not accurate. I guess you got him there, but if that's that doesn't seem substantial to me, 
I don't think that's a nitpick. That's me telling him I think his point is bad. Hidden Sue by Mattel. This is not Aragorn. It's not even fan fiction of Aragorn. It's a completely different character. And that's kind of the point. Leave it to Kotaku to state the obvious because why scrape the bottom of the barrel when you can just bury yourself under it? From Sauron's taint, we get this soiled insight. Quote, Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth is to be revealed in full on May 30th when the mechanics of how the CGC will play are revealed. But ahead of this announcement has come the very welcome news that Wizards of the Coast and Middle-Earth Enterprises plan to make the Third Age a far more representative time to live in. Which is to say... Um... Representative time to live in. Um, yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, I, I, I just assume they think it's welcome just because yeah they like they want to see more diversity. Right, in so it. he seems he seems pretty salty about all this, and I kind of can relate on some level where um, it's just like. There's just like so much, so much. This just like the people who who are or who are who are like this, like this gentleman in the video. It seems like it just seems like they're like movies were like one way for so long, and then like it just seemed to be so like politics free, and then now mm -hmm. that you know politics have become everybody's fucking new religion because no one believes in God anymore. Which, for the record, I don't believe in God either. Um, it's just like now it's just seeping we can't even have the inner our entertainment without you know some like sneak sneaked in fucking politics like message or whatever mm -hmm. it's like hey why is this guy black oh it's because of representation i'm like yeah but like it doesn't this doesn't make sense in the story or you know mm -hmm. like he wasn't black in any other interpretation of it like why don't you just have your story and we have your ours and shit like that I, I i i can understand that oh yeah me too uh one of the ones i actually really think is incredibly stupid is uh in i can't think of the fucking name doctor strange in the multiverse of madness that fucking chick who exists outside of other dimensions is wearing like a trans, gay, BIPOC pride flag. She's not from here. She's not even from literally like any dimension. <laughs> She's the only. No, no, no. She, she, no, no, she, she comes from a single one dimension, but she doesn't exist in other dimensions. That okay, is. fine, whatever. Um, but she's not because from ours. Remember? Like what? Sure. <laughs> Why is she, she wearing from... that fucking pin? Well, if you remember in the the the, the worst uh, frames of. Uh, flashback of all time um yes. she come from like some hyper woke society or whatever so they would have the exact same pride flag i mean if all the dimensions are infinite i'm sure there are some like similarities right the the chance is literally infinitesimally small <laughs> yeah well it's a movie steven i know <laughs> it's a bad movie <laughs> no nah, i like that movie except for That's she funny, is the worst like part it. Of it. it is bad she is she is she is the worst part of the I like Tokyo Drift. It's bad. You know, this is okay. It's cringe. No. It's not cringe. I, it's, the, it is way less cringe than the Doctor fact, Strange. The fact that you cringe. even compare these two movies is... is, is uh, I mean, yeah, I know. Tokyo repulsive. Drift is like on a whole nother level of good. Okay. It actually makes some sense. You're right. That's true. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Drift follows. You know, it all makes sense. All right, let's let's listen to this fucking bigot a little more. All right, yeah, let me give me one second. I'm just figuring out where. <laughs> fucking bigot. Um, did I just you, uh... give him the most charitable information. I'm just like, anyway, this fucking racist. <laughs> <Yeah. I'm> just... <laughs> it's funny though. I don't actually think he's racist or anything. I'm just memeing. It's fun to meme. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me just figure out where the fuck I'm going. Give me one second, and we'll continue. Oh, no, it's an air tube down to reach the elevation. Are you familiar with the, uh, the equalizer? Oh, this. Uh, am I familiar with the equalizer? No. Yeah. And, uh, it's a, um, my understanding, the equalizer was a television show from decades back, and then they made it into a movie, um, mm -hmm. recently with Denzel Washington as the lead. They've made three of these movies. Very popular movies. I think they're pretty popular. They made three of them. They have to be some level of popular. Um, and... The main character is uh, Ray Swaps. 
Um, okay, like Denzel White, he was a white guy in like a book or something? And then... Well, he was, a, he was a white guy in the show. The TV oh, okay, show, gotcha. I believe. Um, and they're not continuous, right? <laughs> yeah, but I think this is, I think this is apples and oranges. I feel like this is completely different. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, honestly, it's probably fine. If you just take Americans and you just race swap them, Anybody, because it's, it doesn't... It's probably fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, we're a fucking nation of immigrants. Yeah. We're all from everywhere else. Like, yeah. Um, which is incredibly unique and as far as countries go. Yeah. And it, it can be good. Like, a black Captain America is an interesting idea, because, like, how black people view America is very different than, than how, white, how people. white people do. Um, exactly. So there's times it's where just, I would think it's good. It's um, just the execution was horrible in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, when I meant black Captain America, I mean literally, like, you just take the OG Captain America and now he's black. It's like an Elseworld story. Oh. I, I didn't mean you just take... <laughs> well, yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier is dog shit, so... Yeah. Um, I also think, I, I mentioned this on uh, a previous stream, I think they probably should pick Bucky almost entirely because he's a super soldier. <laughs> so, yeah, like, who the fuck is Falcon? Yeah, like, how is he, he gonna he, throw the shield? <laughs> he grew up with, like, Steve Rogers, he probably holds a lot of the same ideals. Not saying that mm -hmm. Sam doesn't. I just, uh, also, he just, just the, seems like a logical choice. The struggle of his brainwashing seems more interesting than the struggle of the one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, um, also, you like he's white, which is like really good. No, <laughs> it's just like I just really like stories about white people. It's just like just didn't like Black Panther zero out of ten. Um, I don't know what the American History X. <laughs> there was parts of that movie that were pretty sick. I haven't actually seen it. I seen the the curb stopping. <laughs> That's the only thing I seen, and that makes me like. Actually, physically cringe, but not like out of uh, yeah, I like kinda, that's yeah, bad. You know, it's just like, wow, my teeth away. hurt. Fuck, <laughs> vicarious, uh, something. yeah. It's like if you just see somebody just get absolutely like beat to shit in a fight, you're just like, oh, fuck, <laughs> yeah, oh, or like the office where like, or like awkward humor, like yeah. people like awkward humor. It just, it, I cannot stand it. No, I generally don't like it either. It's something, what is it, like vicarious in, embarrassment or something, or like something third like person that. embarrassment or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's just high levels of empathy, which is what I have. I actually do too. I took the big five personality test, uh, test and uh, I was very high in empathy, actually. I was very high in disagreeableness, too. I was, like, incredibly I, high. I, they were like, I, you might be I, a serial I, murderer. I'm like, okay. I would have guessed that. I would yeah. be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised. I was a little bit surprised that I was, like, 99th percentile. I was like, all right. <laughs> but... Yeah. Fuck the police, okay? I disagree. You you say something, fuck you, okay? We're Any opinion. Even if I agree with it, fuck you. We're all over the place. We like white people. We, we hate the police. <laughs> Pick a lane. Jesus Christ. No! Right. You can't box me in, man. I'm not your average fucking SJW, okay? We like House of the Dragon. We hate Black of Aragorn. Yeah. Things. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nuanced. We're very nuanced. We like you, might say, you might say it's contradictory. I say it's nuanced, okay? <laughs> I say I like what I like, and I don't need reasons for it. That's Go true. Fuck yourself. Yeah. And that's, yeah, based. Based on true build. Right, I'm dying to a dog. Give me one second. There we go. Which is to say, not everyone's white. And if you're feeling the need to start <laughs> writing a comment about the ethnicity of the Scandinavian nations that inspired, just close the article down now and move on. Yeah, I don't... All right. Well, that was just fun. See you later. Yeah, we're done. Game over. Um, I don't really care too much about the origins of the story. It would be like whether or not it's uh, it still makes sense in the uh, thing. Like, yeah, you can make like, oh, this is based on Scandinavian folklore, and then I have a black person because the fucking... <laughs> I don't know, the... the makeup of the the area means that it's geographically diverse so then you can have a black person you know mm -hmm. i'm gonna make sure what i said about the equalizer is correct go ahead, wait, wait. okay go for it back check yourself your blood pressure is bad enough my blood pressure is perfect which is why i can calmly tell you that his works are not strictly inspired by scandinavian nations and what influences they do have are limited primarily to the dwarves I can also tell that you know you have a bad argument when the best clap back to criticism you can make is shut up. And that I mean that's true. You got to have something better than shut up. <laughs> so I don't I don't like it when people uh are just like super smug. It's like, yeah, he's diverse now. I'll fucking deal with it. I was like, can we have a conversation? No, fuck you. Like the shutting down of it is is annoying.
you know? Yeah. yeah so, I would agree. I would agree with him there. It's, uh, it's, it is cringe. It was quite cringe. Okay, I was going the exact fucking wrong way. When, when, did, when did we decide that our fucking uh, political discourse is going to be run by those, like, hypersensitive drama kids in high school? And uh, probably when they started taking over all the, uh, all the colleges. The colleges. <laughs> yeah. It's um, kind of a train wreck. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've been saying this for years. We need a good old-fashioned land war just to, you know, take out all the weak. Yeah, right. I, I was for the plague until yeah. COVID happened, and then everybody's like, now you need to shut down. I was like, no, we need to open up. All the weak get cold. Come yeah. on, let's fucking open this bitch up. Let's do it. I, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a little bit more, a little more, more extreme because a war is just like you need to like you know the strong actually survive. Like you know, right. you can like you can be some bitch and have like some immunity to some shit, but you know. That's true. No one's immune to a bullet, Steven. <laughs> That's not true. I shoot myself with uh, bigger and bigger bullets every day to build up my immunity. To build up immunity. Yeah. Damn. Dang, That's dude. um. It's dope. You must have really good health insurance. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Work for Amazon. It's fucking great. <laughs> and before that, my dad was in the Navy, so I was on the fucking TRICARE, dude. Like, we're great! Getting pretty, we're getting pretty far away from this. Actually. No, come on, we're doing great. That is the best argument this dude can make, because his follow-up argument is all kinds of stupid. Quote, Fortunately, for those whose imagination can somehow cope with magic walking trees and actual dragons, but not different melanin content and character skin... Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it really is just, does it make sense? That's the entirety of it. You can yeah, say there's magic. I think that's magic. a pretty... It's a pretty, okay. yeah. I think it's a pretty, it feels disingenuous. Yeah. Especially when, like, it's a, it's, for all intents and purposes, other than Numenorian, I guess, it's just people. So we expect them to work like people. So if the yeah. world isn't diverse, we don't have a geodef geographically diverse land, then why would we have geographically diverse human beings? What's it called? Is it, is it, what's, what's the word? Is it, uh... Homogenous? Homogenous. Yeah, the, that means like everybody's the same? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting ambushed by a bunch of crazy ladies. Bitches be after this penis. Alright, they're all dead. I, I killed them. They're dead. Every single one of them. And then not, even not just the men. <laughs> there were no men. <laughs> but the women. <laughs> and there weren't children. It was all women. <laughs> they're all dead. <laughs> Hey, Anakin, what kind of, what kind of videos you watch on YouTube? Anakin, what are you be checking out on the hub, bro? Every single one of them. <laughs> and not just the men. Why oh, no, I, I skipped a part. It's like, ooh, yeah, yeah. kinky. And not just the men, <laughs> but the women and the children, too. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking... I can't it's find so that move. That that does not exist anymore. I I tried for like an hour to find it. Yeah, I've tried for a very long time. Anybody, if you guys know, there's a like a TikTok type video. I know nobody watches this, but in case somebody does, there's like a TikTok style video. Might have been short. Might have just been before either of these existed. <laughs> of a dude asking Anakin what he watches on Pornhub. <laughs> it is one of the funniest things. <laughs> it is absolute fucking comedic genius. I think I cried the first time I watched it. <laughs> Not only because it was funny, but I was sad that I will never beat that. There's no way I'll be that funny it in my life. It's so not funny. possible. I think I know I know the creators. I'm pretty sure I I knew the creators who made it. I just I looked on their channel, I can't find it. I think well, I might have Do you remember their name? No. Nah. I know we looked at it before, but if you knew now, then I would ask for the, the I'm gonna guess it's gonna be forty people who watch this. Total. That's not uh, Maybe those help me. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead with the video. I'll figure it out. There's oh, still yeah. plenty of blazing white fantasy out there in which they could take solace. You do realize that's an unbelievable cell phone, right? Because you're basically saying that the people you're siding with who possess such incredible imaginations can't cope with a single fantasy story having a white cast. Um... That doesn't seem like a cell phone to me. I mean, it wasn't. It was a bad argument, in my opinion. But it doesn't seem like a cell phone. Like, if you have amazing ability to fantasize, I'm sure they could cope with the whiteness. They just want to see more diversity. Yeah, these guys are just. Uh, it's just they're just being as bad faith as possible. Yeah, like, like both what? sides you can't, are you, bad faith. <laughs> you just can't. You can't comprehend. Like you, you can think of trees, but you can't yeah. think of 
but yeah, black like, people okay. are just like yeah we can we can yeah, think yeah, of both of these things yeah, yeah that's it dude you got it <laughs> Uh, yeah, the other guy is just like engaging. you can't think of only white people. So like, well, I can. <laughs> you're, you're you're engaging. Yeah, these he's not. In, you're engaging with the argument now, right? Like, mm -hmm. I agree. Bad faith. Yeah. Uh, it's these R people R are so fragile. Sorry, guys. It's RDC. Uh, I believe. I believe. Um, the YouTube channel is RDC World. Okay. Um, anyway. But, okay. Go ahead. This Fine. For the, hey, Anakin. What yes. kind of videos do you watch on the hub? Yeah. Yes. For all for all of the six people we're gonna watch. Find that video. We need it. You're, you're uh, also uh, everyone who's watching. Your your mothers are disgusting whores. All right. All right. <laughs> the the way you uh the way you get answers on the internet is not by asking questions. It's to state a wrong thing so people will correct you. <laughs> so you could say RDC never made a video about <laughs> Anakin watching stuff on Pornhub. That didn't happen. Not once. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, you're trying to elicit like a reaction of some kind. Mm -hmm. See, I just said the most horrible thing I could think of to like trigger a reaction out of your audience. Yeah, but they'll they'll correct you on whether mother. You're is like a whore. my mother is actually not a whore. I'm like, oh. For mine, they that. will be like, well, here's the video where they did make that, and I'm like, dang, yeah. I'm wrong. I'm like, you own me. Good job, dude. Look, I'll look how dumb I am, and then I have the video I wanted. So everything's great. Oh, my fucking back is. A you ever scratch your back with a fucking fork? Oh my god. Uh, I feel like I have. It's been a while, but <laughs> that seems like a disgusting animal degenerate thing that I would do. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, that, Patrick. And then eat with that fork without washing it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have eaten with some forks I definitely should not have eaten with. Um, okay. Or just my build, hands that I definitely should not have eaten with. Um, I don't want to go deep into this, but I do just want to question you real quick. Do you know how much you pay attention to Asmongold? Uh, not at all. I don't know. I Dude, I learned some lore about him. We're not, we're not going to go into it, but I want to give you a couple of headlines for lore and you can look it up at your leisure if you want okay uh asmongold blood wall <laughs> oh you and want then, me to look this up okay you don't you you can if you want i don't want to go into it in here because it's completely irrelevant i just i thought of it so i want to bring it up to you personally um okay. but you can look up asmongold blood wall and asmongold rat alarm clock these are deep pieces of lore that i learned about yesterday and they're shocking they're both shocking to me Rat alarm clock? Yes. <laughs> we can go into it if you want. I don't give a shit. Let's but... just finish this. Yeah, that's I was like, that's a whole separate thing. I just just since I'm thinking of it, I want you to have that in the back of your brain. If you're ever bored and need need some hardcore what the fuck is wrong with society, look up Asmongold Blood Wall and Asmongold Rat Alarm Clock. That if they can't see themselves reflected in the characters, meaning the characters have to look exactly like them, well, they can't even. They can't read the story. Yeah, I mean, I might, I might somewhat agree with this. I agree with his little less bad faith he stated point here, that like you should be able to identify at least somewhat with people who don't look like you. You know. You should. You should be able to relate to people who don't look like you. Yeah, like I relate to like female characters or black characters. I can't think of Fucking any because all cringe, the good ones are bro. white men. I know, Christ. very cringe. <laughs> I'm, I'm capable of empathy. Imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine relating to Ray Skywalker. Jesus. Well, that's not a character. That's the problem you have there. There's no character in Ray Skywalker. What is there to relate to? The fact that she is just incredible at everything but has zero personality? Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm incredible at everything, but I have a personality. Okay. Okay, but to to interpret his sentence um, charitably, mm -hmm. um, people do tend to relate more with people who look like them more. Um, I yeah, will give the I, agree I will get I will give the example of Eminem. Not only is he very good at rapping, but I would say that a large part of his success is that um, he access the market of you know white kids they're just like oh this guy is cool and he looks like me mm -hmm. um and like we share experiences so therefore you know blah 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 well yeah um there, there are lots of examples of that i so totally, that, and, that, I totally that's agree. A, and that's one of the that's one of the very good art well that's one of the um most persuasive arguments for representation right no i i totally agree with you um but that doesn't mean you can't do it to people who don't look like you, I guess. It, it helps, because, like, you require less empathy if you're... If it's somebody who has gone through similar struggles you have, because you don't have to empathize, you've done it. Like, you know, right? 
Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to empathize with the struggles of uh, what the fuck struggles have I gone up to. I don't know. I'll just, I'll out my dad. A somewhat abusive dad. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I don't really have to empathize too much with other people who've gone through that. It's just like, no, I know. I did it. I went through that. So, sure. Um, so I get it. Um, it. It requires two related but different. I don't know if you say emotions. What do you? What, do you, what would you say empathy is? Is it an emotion? I don't know. Abilities? Empathy is <laughs> empathy is putting your show, uh, putting yourself in someone else's shoes and feeling their like emotions. Well, I got that. I'm not. I'm saying like, is that? What do you categorize that as? <laughs> is it an action? What? Is empathy an action? <laughs> is it an attribute? Uh, like I, don't, I think it's an action, right? To show, to show empathy, it's just kind of like a. It's like a, it's like an emotion, kind of, like an empathy, yeah. kind of. It's, it's not it's, important. It's, I was just trying. To, it's trying not to like something you can sentence. like. <laughs> is empathy? That's interesting. I don't know. Is empathy learned or is it inherent in people? Uh, it's probably both. I think it's actually significantly uh, inherent in people, but not entirely. Because um, I definitely gain empathy by like living in a more diverse area. I gained more empathy. Like, my dad, I think, is incredibly unempathetic because he hasn't experienced a lot of the people. Of diversity. Yeah. That's interesting. That actually plays a lot uh, uh, of a movie we were talking about earlier in American History X. That's probably pretty much the through line. It's about a, uh, a, a fucking hardcore neo-Nazi uh, going into prison and then getting stuck with a black guy and then they became friends because mm-hmm. he showed he was able to develop yes. empathy towards their relative situations and say hey we're not so different after all it's just and like the, the classic villain line we're not so different you and i it's and then his fucking brother died oh spoiler well, alert rip yeah. it's like uh what's that dude daryl something that dude who goes uh black guy who talks to a bunch of kkk people yeah yeah Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that guy's dope as fuck. Yeah, he's super cool. Watch him on Rogan. That was good. But I don't watch Rogan anymore, because he's a transphobe, and bigot, and what else is he? Conspiracy theorist, and white. Worst of all, white. I watch Rogan. Rogan's good. Uh, I just haven't watched him in a while, because I don't, haven't been that Yeah, me too. I, it, 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 he has to have someone, like, super... Also, I, I don't use Spotify, so that's a big barrier. I do use it, but... I don't know, I watched it more when it was on YouTube, because YouTube is my primary media, I guess. I watch more things on YouTube than anything else. This has nothing to do with anything, um, no, but, okay. fuck Steve, but, stu- but uh, fuck Steve Jobs. Alright, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm uh, using my iPad to play and pause. <laughs> yeah, f- fuck you too, bro. Okay, thank you. No, all right. Fuck all Steves, forever. Um, sure. Anyway, there was a point that I had about this. I can make sure. Yeah, so uh, I agree with him that if people are saying that they can't empathize with people because there's no black people in them or whatever, then I agree with him. That is like a little narrow minded, but it's also like, like you said, it's easier. It's it's nice to see people of your skin, like the Scully effect. Um, a lot of women yeah, started being yeah. scientists because they started seeing a woman scientist on TV a lot. They can't relate to any of the characters. The only way they can connect is if all the characters are melanated. I also don't think anyone is saying entirely that. They might be saying it's harder, but I don't think they're saying the only way. I never heard heard the word melanated, but I I like it. It's amazing. I have heard the word melanated, actually. Um, I I feel like I've heard people say melanated peoples. Like, I think that exactly, because they were talking about different minority groups. And this is despite Tolkien's story already including diversity via all the races, or really species. The very thing they're asking for already exists with the elves, men, um, actually, let me let him finish that. Dwarves, orcs, and hobbits, and how they interact with each other. Uh, no, because if they're looking for representation, a dwarf isn't representation of a black person. <laughs> Neither is a hobbit. So, this yeah, doesn't just... exist. There is diversity. But it's not of of, of, of a type that exists in the current world. Sure. So, so you, I mean, you can write similar stories. Like, okay, we got to, I don't know, hobbits are treated like shit or something because they fucking suck or whatever. So you can, like, implant, like, X-Men is actually a good example. It's, uh, they, the X-Men themselves, the mutants were treated poorly because, um, that humans just fucking hated them because they were different. Um, and they were scared of them. 
And so that's actually just, it's just literally Professor X is um, Martin, Martin Luther King, King and then Magneto, Magneto is Malcolm is X. Well. Um, so you can take the diversity that you have that is different than like human diversity, real world diversity, and then tell real world s stories out of it um, that would still be empathetic, that people could still do it. But it's not the same thing as saying like, okay, well, I identify with this character because they're literally like, they look like me. Yes. So yeah, get fucked, anime avatar. Fucking weebs, am I right? Those are the real problem. Yeah, subhuman, for sure. Uh, yeah, absolute right, yeah. degenerate. Don't you heard me, YouTube. Just... Don't at me. <laughs> Leroy, if you're watching, you're subhuman degenerate. Fuck you, Leroy. <laughs> Answer my text. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> he, he does it to me, but he normally does it like three days later. I'm like, Leroy, I forgot I texted you. Good job. If you can only see yourself in characters when they look exactly like you, you miss the point of the story. I don't Ironically, think Ironically, Wizards of the Coast admits this. On their page announcing the cards, they say that they had two goals, one of which was diversity, but admit that, quote, The Lord of the Rings is about the different peoples of Middle-earth coming together to fight Sauron, finding strength in their diversity. Fans of all backgrounds have been enjoying these stories, characters, and locations for decades, and we wanted this set to reflect that broad inclusion. It's already there in a... I actually would question that a little bit. This is totally anecdotal. The most, this is the most anecdotal thing potentially possible. I don't think I really know any black people who give a shit about Lord of the Rings. To be completely honest. Huh. Um, but, or, or really fantasy. I know a bunch of black weebs. I don't know many who are like, are going to like medieval fantasy type shit. I don't know anybody. That's good. I probably that's know like, some black people who watch Game of Thrones. Um, well, Game of Thrones transcends cultures. Yeah, so it, it kind of does. It was so big that it's like almost a different. It's like I liked it actually more for the drama than the fantasy. The fantasy is cool, yeah, but like I didn't actually really give that. If much there were no dragons, dragons, it would still be. An it would still be show, fucking right? awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it if actually might be better stuff. because then Daenerys wouldn't turn into literally Hitler. Because what is she gonna do? She can't fucking nuke a city. So. <laughs> Dragon fucker. Okay. Um. All right, give me a sec. I need to figure out where we're going. No. Road, there's an option. I mean, you oh. can press play. You have the fucking power. Story. Tolkien's works have been translated into over a hundred different languages. People around the world have enjoyed his stories for decades. They already feel included. That's why the stories are so popular. They don't need you to do anything else but draw what he wrote. And they damn sure don't need your so-called originality. Okay, so he's doing some hardcore speaking for other races when he says they already feel included. Just because you enjoy something doesn't mean you feel included by it, right? Uh, that's true. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe he's black. I assume he's not. This anime avatar isn't indicating that he is. But I don't technically know. But assuming he's white, which I don't know. Big old assumption. But assuming he is, it's weird to say that they feel included? Like, how do you know? This kid is definitely white. Uh, having not knowing that for sure. <laughs> he feels white, right? As a white, he's, he's he feels like one enough. of us. Uh, but yeah, I, that's that's a really strange one to me. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that I like that I don't feel included. It's really tough because I'm white, so I'm included in most things. <laughs> um, but I can imagine something. If I actually liked Black Panther, I didn't. But if I did, like... It wasn't that it was a bunch of black people that made me not like it. I just thought it wasn't that interesting. You know? Yeah, I thought, I thought like, Panther had some cool parts in it. Um, I thought it was alright. I didn't think it was, like, some horrible movie. But, like, I'm not way into people, it. People, you know? the so, fact that it got an Oscar nomination was, like, was insane It was fucking insane. Yeah. It was, yeah I was just <laughs> like, didn't it win? No, 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 it did not. Jesus Christ. No. Oh, no, it was the no. Suicide Squad. Su the first what? Suicide Squad uh, movie won. Uh, it won for like one, hair and makeup one. or something. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I, for best picture. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. Well, that's what I was just. I couldn't remember. I was like, I remember something won that was like made no fucking sense at all. It was Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I need to charge for it. If you want to unpause, you can. But I need to charge for it right now. Originality. Right. Quote: The goal of this set is to express the story and is a modern take on the work of J.R.R. Tolkien, lovingly crafted for an ever-expanding fandom. No one wants a modern take on Tolkien's story. Well, evidently somebody wants a modern take on it. That's why they made it. They wanted it, at least. Black Rings, Panther... Did Sorry, you see Rings of Power at all? I didn't see it. I because... watched three episodes of it. It was so dog shit, I couldn't take it. It Was, was it? So, it, it, was it I, didn't, I didn't start watching it because it looked terrible. 
It looked terrible, but I was just like, maybe it's like kind of funny. It was just incredibly boring and just overall shit. Um, and I watched some uh, podcasts where they talked about it, and it sounds like a fucking mess. Great. Like that, I don't know if they changed anybody's race in that. That was a disrespectful adaptation because of how stupid they made everything. Yeah, you know, all these fucking, <laughs> fucking woke morons, why don't you just make your own fucking stories? That's true, too. Like, it's way better to just make a good black character than to make a good white character into a black character. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's not useful sometimes, like I said. It's like the, an the unbelievable black... misservice. What, yeah, like, it's a complete disservice. You can only tell white, like, quote-unquote white stories, which, what the mm -hmm. fuck does that even mean? Yeah. Um, but, like, it, it, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you can't do it ever and have a good story. Like, you can make a black Captain America. That would be interesting. Um, yeah. But, yeah, make it a new character a lot of time is way more interesting. Matt said something. Black Panther 1 was decent enough. Black Panther 2 was less so. Yeah, Black Panther 2 was a fucking travesty. <laughs> never, never saw it. I haven't seen it almost any, any... I only saw two of the new Marvel movies, and it was hey, the Doctor Strange should, and the Spider-Man's. You should erase... The, well, Spider-Man's good. Uh, uh, the rest... So is Doctor Strange. Well, no, you saw, uh, you saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that one's fucking excellent. I think Guardians of the Galaxy is its own universe. Effectively, yeah. yeah. I do like to kind of separate them. And then they're in that, and then they're in Endgame and Infinity War, and they're they're like and they're not attached to anything else. <laughs> Isn't that weird? How did they just That's... make their own universe? It's crazy. Because they're fucking um, off doing their own shit. It's not located on Earth. Earth, welcome to Earth. Well, welcome, and they punch the alien, and they smoke a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're so cool. Did your best friend just die? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what are you talking about? Will Smith, Steven. I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Independence Day. Independence. It's been a while since I saw it. That okay. dude made Godzilla. The best Godzilla, I'll add. Wasn't it? I thought it was the director of Independence Day who made that, like, oh, 1998 probably, Godzilla. I, I, have no I can't idea. remember his name. I know if somebody said it, I'll be like, that's a Godzilla guy, but I can't... Oh, I can't think of it. <sighs> I thought I had a point, but I've forgotten it. It was probably about Black Panther 2 being dog shit, because it was. I'm anyway. not... Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying hi. Hi, Matt. Hello. Friend of the show, Matt. He was on the show last week. Friend of the show. Stories. Uh, Your and job Emmerich. is to take yes. what he wrote That's and it. make pictures. Your job is not to change his work. That's a No, an adaptation is changing in some way, right? I completely disagree with that. Because, like, we wouldn't say... Civil War is shit because it's not the same as Civil War in the com like Captain America Civil War the movie. It's way different than the comics. You don't just say it's shit because it's different though. You could say it's a bad adaptation, but like or maybe adaptation isn't the right word. There. I don't know. It I I don't think that's automatically their job is to just take it one to one and make the pictures. Thoughts? Uh, yeah. Um, I say, I say the way you solve this, you make them all black. That's how you do it. Then it makes sense. <laughs> make everyone black. Yeah, for sure. And do only pale orcs. The one pale orc, he's now dark. And then <laughs> from the Hobbit, that guy's dark. And then all the let's other just, orcs let's are just white. Let's just race swap everything. Everything. Just complete. We're not even going to race swap them. We're going to draw them regular. And then we're going to do the inverse fucking thing on like Photoshop. Yeah. It's going to be great. We're going to make a, we're going to make a samurai movie. It's set in Japan. And it's only going to be white people. The <laughs> last one is going to be a white guy. Yeah, it's gonna be the last samurai, and it's just gonna be like one black guy, and then everybody else is gonna be white. There's it's gonna, gonna be, be no Asians in the movie at all. And it's, it's literally gonna still gonna be played by Tom Cruise, but he's gonna be in blackface like in Tropic <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking awesome, dude. Oh my god, it's gonna be the dude, best movie the ever. Shit out of that, movie. that would be the dude, best. Tom Cruise is a good actor, dude. He's awesome. He'll do his own stunts, he'll fucking break his legs all the time. It'll just yeah, be fucking he'll, awesome. He'll, he'll, he'll definitely get an N word pass for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he already has it. I, I'm sure there's some movie that gave it to him. Tom Cruise? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just making it. Robert Downey Jr. definitely has one. Oh yeah, he's he's he's. I think he's yeah, just yeah. one of them now. I just, wow. I don't think he... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll have to ask Chris. Maybe Chris. Chris gave you one. He sure did. <laughs> yes, he did. Don't believe what anyone else will tell you. He definitely gave it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Good times. All that right. is my opinion, or some fan's opinion. That's Tolkien's opinion. When a Dutch publisher asked for his approval for changing the names of locations into Dutch, Tolkien said this from letter 190, quote, I hope you and the Foreign Rights Department will forgive my now at length writing to you about the Dutch translation. The matter is, to me, important. It has disturbed and annoyed me greatly and given me a good deal of unnecessary work at a most awkward season. In principle, I object as strongly as is possible to the translation of the nomenclature at all, even by a competent person. I wonder why a translator should think himself called on or entitled to do any such thing. That this is an imaginary world does not give him any right to remold it according to his fancy. Okay, uh, that was going on a little bit too long. For that was giving that was giving Tolkien's like de like direct response to someone even translating something into a different language. Well, I get oh, that. Well, yeah, I totally get that. Um. A translation should be as close to one to one as possible, though. It can't be because, like, they have different concepts and stuff. Um, but it, it that one absolutely should be. That's the goal of a translation. It's to not change. It's to keep it as intact as possible while being in another language. That's not what's happening in Magic: The Gathering. Magic: The Gathering, Gathering is an adaptation for their game, right? Mm -hmm. So. And also, like, I think the I think the litmus test, unfortunately, Tolkien's dead. So we gotta go with his like estate, <laughs> right? <laughs> um well, actually I'm not even sure who would have approved that because Wait, does I know... that, the, the next but, question is, does that matter? Does what matter? If the uh, um if the creator's just like nah not like this for his work. Um legally it obviously matters. Um I I don't know. I would I would I would like it to still be respectful to them. Eventually it doesn't cuz like death of the author is and is not a thing at the same time. Um there's like cases where it's just like you interpret something and then they say no, it actually means this. It's just like no, that's dog shit. I don't care. Fuck you. Your opinion doesn't matter on your own work. Um but it still does affect things. Um like I I I'll give you a good example of uh this. Alan Moore really hates the Watchmen movie. I don't think he's even seen it, but he's been told about it, and he hates all the adaptations of his work because he thinks that they're just... They change things too much, right? Sure. I respect that opinion. I would like the movies to be more respectful to his work to the point where I think he would like it at least a little bit. I think he just objects to it wholesale because it's movies, and he doesn't. He, he's like, I wrote a comic book. I want to say a comic book. But I would at least like him to say, well, at least the story is <laughs> respectful, you know? Sure. Whereas, parts of Watchmen are actually legitimately disrespectful to it. Um, the main thing being, like, the quote-unquote, the Watchmen are, like, basically superheroes. When there's only supposed to be, like, one. Or maybe two. Adrian Voigt is supposed to be a superhero, kind of, because he's, like, crazy intelligent. And then uh, Dr. Manhattan is. But if you watch the movie... Dr. Manhattan's, like, a god. Yeah. yeah. The main story is about how they deal with a real-life Superman showing up. Uh, but if you watch the movie... The fucking, like, Night Owl and whatever the hell, that Silk Spectre or whatever, just mm. absolutely dirt on, like, tens of people. They're just fucking obliterating these guys. Just breaking their legs and shit. Like, they're basically yeah, superheroes. Compound fractures abound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. They're basically superheroes. Um, they're not Dr. Manhattan, but they're pretty... <laughs> they're basically fucking superheroes. So I would say that that's... Okay, Alan Moore would say that's disrespectful, and I would agree with them. Um... So, I, is, is it wrong to go against what the artist says? No, but, like, it at least can give you an insight um, into things. And then you got to choose whether or not each instance matters. I don't think you could say blanket whether or not it matters, you know? Right. Long-winded way to say, I don't know. Long way to say, hell yeah, white people. Also, Matt said hi in the chat. I don't know if you saw I'm at, again, I'm gonna just keep out. Even if he could, in a few months, create a new coherent structure, which it took me years to work out. Right there, Tolkien slaps down this idiotic argument I've seen numerous people make, claiming that because yeah. this is a fantasy story, because none of it is real, it doesn't matter how the characters are depicted. Um, I totally agree, but I think, I think that's a, still a really bad example, because the translation should be as close to one-to-one -one as you can possibly get it. Um... Yeah, I, I'm just going to be repeating myself. Um, 
but I, so I, I would agree. a translation and an adaptation, there's a distinction for you there. Yes. Obviously. Adaptation right. means that there should be changes to it. Should be? Or changes are or, allowed? I, I guess they're allowed. Well, there there kind of has to be. Um, in, even in as much as, like... But um, for anything that's a book to a movie, I believe that it's impossible not to have it be an adaptation. Well, that's what I was saying. Of, yeah. Right. So that's why I, when I was saying it has to be. Like, you have to change it because of the medium mm -hmm. change. Um, I'm not saying that you have to change skin color. There's plenty of changes you don't have to make. But... Um, there has to be at least some. So since we already accept that there has to be in some adaptations, then we can say, well, more changes would be acceptable, I would say. Um, I mean, there, there comes a point where it's changed so much. It's not even an adaptation. It's just a brand new fucking thing inspired by Lord of the Rings, you know? Sure. Um, but anyway, shit, what he said... Oh, I, I would agree that just because it's fantasy, that doesn't mean you can just change shit. I mean, it's exactly the argument I was saying. Like, if you change somebody to black and it just doesn't make sense because there's no geological diversity, or geographical diversity, rather, then it stops making sense. Picked it. Well, if that's the case, then why do you want to change the characters? If they can be whatever anyone wants them to be, then why can't they be like their creator intended? If it doesn't matter because it's not real, then there's no reason to change anything. Uh, well, there would be. I think what, if people are making that argument, it doesn't matter because it's not real. Um, they're saying, like, it shouldn't affect your immersion in it or something like that. Not that it just doesn't matter. They clearly think oh, it matters. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a huge thing, too. That's a, I'm glad you use that word, immersion. Okay. So when, when something... that That's kind of what hurts... That's kind of what, um, when you see something like that, where it, historically a character has always been one way and then you see it another way, it, mm -hmm. it can be kind of jarring. And if it's not done well, which I feel like a lot of times in contemporary film and TV shows, it's kind of just jammed in there and we're supposed to suck it up or erase us. Mm -hmm. That, like, it, um, that act in and of itself can be, um, can ruin the immersion and that, and thus the, the entire experience of a piece of art. It, its entirety now it, it has been done well before as we said in uh, house of the dragon we think it was integrated well there mm -hmm. but um historically i feel like it's been done poorly yeah um i can think of a time where that ha happened on a really micro scale and that i read the harry potter books before the movies came out um and then seeing hermione i was just like this is not even close to what i thought hermione looked like and that actually, like, messed with me a little bit. Because, like, Hermione's described as, like, frumpy with buck teeth. In frumpy? Books. That's funny. Kind of. I don't know if they use the word frumpy, but, like, she's not good looking. And look at the word, the even word Emma Watson when, when Emma Watson was my age when the movie came out. I always thought she was cute when I was fucking 10 or whatever. And I'm just yeah. like, I did not get the picture in my mind that Hermione was cute. <laughs> you not frumpy at all, girl. No, I was like, you're good looking, girl. And Damn, girl. as as a thirty three year old man, the thirty three year old Hermione, I think she's about my age. There you go. Still fucking really right. good looking. <laughs> um, although Only Hermione, thirty three. <laughs> yeah. I think they did start describing her as better looking later because she just kind of grew into her looks. Sure. Because um, uh, she had like big teeth, and so I guess if you have big teeth and then you get bigger, then your teeth generally don't get much bigger. <laughs> so. Like, once you have your adult teeth, they don't keep growing with your body, so... Big butt, should. so what? So what? Big butt, who gives a fuck? No hair, don't care. No hair, I care a little bit. You have hair. Uh, yeah, I do. But losing, I, I losing hair, and I still care. <laughs> the argument itself is pure nonsense because fantasy stories function under a set of rules. They have True. to, because if they didn't, the audience would have no idea how the fantasy world works. The general rule is that unless the author says otherwise, the fantasy world's rules follow the same rules of the real world. So, unless... Uh, that's probably true, right? Yeah. This um, follows. I agree with him. Yeah, I... I'm trying to see... Yeah, I think I totally agree with him. Unless the author says people can fly, you should assume no one can fly. True. If it's based in the medieval setting, you should assume that it follows the rules of the real medieval period until the author says otherwise. And that includes who... 
Yeah, I... That one I start questioning maybe a little bit. Because, like, I wouldn't say Lord of the Rings is based in a medieval setting. It's a fantasy setting where they have low technology. Right? Um... Hmm. Because, like, the setting itself medieval is already an adaptation. Setting. So I can't what's make a ton of it. What's the definition of medieval? Uh, I think it's just a time period. I don't even remember exactly when, but... Pretty sure it's just a time period. Um, but, like, just because it looks like it's medieval, if I already... Like, if right off the bat, pretty much right off the bat in Lord of the Rings, they show you there's magic. So I'm already assuming a bunch of rules are going to go out the window. Um, that doesn't mean I think... Fucking Frodo is just gonna start flapping his arms and fly away, but like, nice. there's still just like, you can break the rules. I don't. I'm not like pulled out of it if you start breaking rules um, that are in real life or are in medieval because you you already established them by right off the bat. You establish this magic. Um, it's literally like Gandalf does some, but even before that, when they're just describing the wars and shit. Like, there's magic already. Hey, you remember when Gandalf forever. died? Uh, no. Yeah, that was dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Are you just talking about, like, when he went off on the ship? Or you just mean <laughs> Gandalf nah. the Grey died and then Gandalf the Light came back? Nah, when they were just like, nah, I just fucking, I get goosebumps every time. So. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Gotcha. <laughs> I legitimately, like, I was watching it on the train a few months ago, like, going to New York, and I was mm -hmm. just like, damn, oh my god, it's still, it's still goosebumps. It's still yeah, goosebumps. It's, it's good. You know what, I wouldn't have gotten goosebumps if it would have let down the same. <laughs> I'm just like, why would I care? That's good. Jesus Christ. Okay, before, I was a joke, it was a joke, <laughs> don't cancel me. You can't be canceled. You're I can't be canceled. I want to be the un one. Like, how Daenerys is the unburnt, you're the uncanceled. Oh, uncanceled. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm fighting oh, no. skeletons that are spitting death at me, so I'm... sick. Well, it's kind of sick. Speaking of sick, <laughs> give me the beat, boys, and beat my boys. Beat my boys. <laughs> I wanna beat my boys, beat my boys. No, I came up with the better version of it. I wanna get no. lost in your beating of boys. That's it. Right. That's better. I added to it. I made don't, it better. I, I adapted yell. it, and boy, is it better. Let me tell don't you. Don't yell at me. <laughs> you. That's an adaptation. You know, and you changed it. Yeah. Right? That's true. Weird Al does adaptations, right? All sweet, homeless child mind. Parodies are probably... Well, actually, I don't know if parodies would be considered adaptations. I'm starting to split hairs there probably a little bit too much. But... Okay, let me kill this one skeleton. Isn't that the entire purpose of this fucking... I don't know, man. The purpose is to have a good time and explore a couple ideas. Ew. If that means we gotta split a couple hairs... Fuck it. Slip that, slip that the, ha the hairs will be split. Includes who split people that, that culture. Split you in half. If the culture is clearly inspired by feudal Japan, you should assume the people are Japanese until the author says otherwise. Yeah, but uh, the author of the Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering set says there's black people in it. J.R.R. Tolkien is not the author of the Lord of the Rings um, Magic the Gathering set, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, like, it's uh, obviously... Lord of the Rings, right? Well, I get that, but, but they have like... the license to it. There's now a new author for that work. It's a different work. You wouldn't mm. say this is, like, the story of the Lord of the Rings. You would say it's the story of it in Magic the Gathering, a.k.a. a new thing, a.k.a. a new author. Is someone custom? This is such a, like, a non-thing. I feel like it would be different if, if this was a movie. The fact that it's a card game, we can just feel like it's a fucking card game. But like, it's also like a, yeah, like yeah, a brand. Like it was like a, a two billion dollar movie that's being made, and like Aragorn's black. Like this would be is completely different. Yeah, I, I agree. It would be more important, or at least it would be more impactful because we're, we're just looking at the image. <laughs> it's, yeah. not, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't know. They should make a like judge promo that's white. That'd be dope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that should be dope. But like the super expensive rare one is just wow. fucking white. <laughs> it's, it's the one that everybody actually wants. Yeah. It's, oh, it's just worth like a million dollars. Like, dang. Jesus Christ. Obviously, bad people um, didn't care so much to stop buying this set because that fucking. I understand it was Post Malone, but that fucking one ring card sold for like a million dollars or whatever it was. That was hot shit. So it didn't seem to throw people off so much that a lot of people 
boycott it or stop playing or whatever. I don't know. I would guess that it's still doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but may maybe it's the uh, Streisand effect, like with uh, Harry Potter, where everybody started boycotting it as the best-selling game fucking <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that whole year. The author is the one who decides the rules of the world, and those are the rules that everyone must follow. You do not get to come in and change it just to suit you. This they do if they're making an adaptation in their product. Why don't they? Who the fuck are you to tell them what they can and can't do? Uh, it's they, they own Magic nah. the Gathering. They can put whatever fuck they nah, wanted in. Let's okay. Let's just let's just take a step back. No. Okay. Okay. Let's take a step back. I'm with you. If someone's just like, <laughs> well, like, at what point does it just become a different thing, right? Like, okay, there's one sure. white race swap, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, let's just say, like, someone buys Star Wars and then just, like, releases a Star Wars movie and it's just about, like, it's like Finn a buddy cop. Finn is white. It's, 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 no, 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 no. It's like a buddy <laughs> cop movie, like, set in the 70s. And it's sure. just like, this is Star Wars. I'm like, this is not Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. I agree. Well, to be fair, I don't know if it episode 8 is, is Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Like, is so this Star Wars? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't look like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Or at least doesn't act like him. Um, I, I get your point. I, d I don't disagree with you. But, like, I don't like the idea that we're just like, no, you just can't. I was just like, I'm not going to make up rules of what you can and can't do. I will. I might. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I might not consider it, like, a thing because I'm just like, I don't see enough connective pieces here for this still to be Lord of Rings. Um, but I don't think just changing the race of somebody would be enough for me to say it's not Lord of the Rings. I think that's absurd. Yeah, for sure. That, that's yeah. true. So uh, like, just uh, the rule that you can't, like, no, you don't, like, you don't have the right. And I was just like, well, I do. I'm making the thing. You don't have the right to tell me I can't do this. I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. They gave me the Lord of the Rings license, and they said I can do this. So, spoiler alert, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> Beat my boys. What color are the boys? That's the important question. They're a perfect mix of every race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> equally represent <laughs> the exact representation of American population. <laughs> We've got a hundred boys. There's fifteen black people. <laughs> Actually, without the whites, though, because we don't beat white people. Jesus. <laughs> well, the beater is white. Come on now. Oh, we want to be historically accurate. Now. Oh my God. You know, everyone's just mad because we won, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just lose with All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's start pulling just your like, car. Just, it's just a world full of salty losers. It's all... <laughs> Jesus. You're literally saying all minorities are losers. And they're salty about it. Wow. Huh. You think they would? You think they would hold this opinion if the, the shoes were on the other foot? Don't think so. Yeah. I, I I somewhat agree with you. We're getting a little edgy, but you know I'll, I'll follow you a little bit. Asians are oftentimes the least worried with this type of shit because they're generally beating white people at like every they, they metric. Do, they, yeah, they do better than white people in America. Like, they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Indians too. A lot of times they yeah. they feel similarly. At least that's my experience. I don't know if it's true on a grand scale. I granted all the. Uh, Asian and Indian people I really talk to are fucking rich software engineers. So, yeah. <laughs> so it might be a little I'm being, different. But... I'm being kind of a hyperbolic, but it's, you know. It's... I know, we're all fucking around here. It's all uh, games. Well, well, You're canceled. Okay. You're, it's over for you. But like, okay, come get me. MGM National Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> come fucking get me. I've had <laughs> scarier people threaten me with worse. <laughs> yeah, I've had people threaten to fight me in person multiple times. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> For, for reference, Patrick is six foot five or so, so good luck to you. Good, good luck, everybody. Don't have a gun. That's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Be a fucking man. No, like I said, there's no rules. We're going to adapt fist fights into we have guns now. <laughs> this is my adaptation of the USC. Just, just as we're, you know, we're, while we're just changing the definition of words, let's just do that. Yeah, we'll just change the definition of fist fight to you can use any weapon. <laughs> Everyone's cringe. Everyone's cringe with me. Everyone is cringe with me. That's true. That's generally how I feel about things. Don't uh, don't kill the part of you that's cringe. Kill the part of you that's cringy, or that cringes. Fuck! I fucked it up. I'm... You want to restart the podcast? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, but with less racism, please. <laughs> Actually, nah. fuck it. More racism. <laughs>
This is exactly what Tolkien argues in his letter, quote, I presume that if I had presented the hobbits as speaking Italian, Russian, Chinese, or what you will, he would have left the names Yo, can alone. Can you imagine or if the hobbits were just taking shy with something? <laughs> they were the only ones? <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell is happening? Why is this? They're like, what are you, racist? I'm like, I know. <laughs> I was like, well, it's confusing because they're speaking English because yeah. I assume they're not actually speaking English. <laughs> but they're all speaking the same language. So that's fine. Oh. So if you now introduce a different race that's speaking a different, like, human language that's very confusing i don't know what the fuck anyone's speaking now it's i have to assume voice. they're actually speaking english it's, and it I starts breaking I, I didn't know i was friends with such a fucking bigot dude that's crazy I, am i wrong like in star wars when people aren't speaking basic they speak in a language that doesn't exist they don't speak fucking chinese no i know yeah it'd be funny yeah that's why i said it'd be funny yeah it'd be fucking like insane. it'd be such a weird choice like no one addresses it you're just like what okay i would like, be I, so confused i, I would be I, immediately ripped out i would have no idea what's going on <laughs> like the elvish language is a non-existent language it's True. not fucking arabic or something <laughs> uh, did you know that in uh the first iron man movie I, I don't know what language they're speaking, but they literally tell you the whole plot in another language at the beginning really? of it. Yeah, like, uh, remember the people that Tom Morello's in? The fucking Ten Rings dudes Excuse or whatever? Me? Tom oh. Morello is an actor in that movie. He's why? with the terrorists. What do you mean, why? Why not? Okay. I think he did, uh, I think he did a song for it or something. Or a Rage Against Machine song was used in it or something like that. I don't know. Um, Anyway, he's actually in it. Yeah, he's uh, he's one of the terrorist guys that captured Tony Stark. Don't appropriate my vultures. I'm not appropriating anything. Appropriate that. Anyway, thing. first of all, Rage Against the Machine is communist, so Fuck! it's not your culture. <laughs> I just fucking miss sweet ones. God damn it. Rips. Anyway, yeah, so what, uh, one of the main dudes, they literally tell you, like, Obadiah is, like, fucking telling us we need to do this and all this shit. They, like, tell you the whole plot of the movie in another language. But they don't put subtitles, so if you speak that language, you'd be like, wait a minute! <laughs> It's Obadiah? <laughs> he I think that's, so, that's so awesome. <laughs> Tony box. Stark built this in a cave with a box of scraps. That's Ralphie from a, a Christmas Story that he's yelling at. Good. And then he reappears in Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm, Mr. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right, I need to build. I need to beat this troll. I'm gonna make you spend your entire turn killing my bird. I'm not really beating the troll so far. So that's good. Are you beating your boys? Uh, what color? <laughs> uh, I don't wanna do anything racist now, but. What? That should've hit him. This game is cheating. Okay, there Can you it goes. Start the goddamn no, I couldn't! I told you this! <laughs> Yet actually, in an imaginary country and period, as this one, coherently made, the nomenclature is a more important element than in a historical novel. But of course, if we drop the fiction of long ago, the Shire is based on rural England and not any other country in the world, least perhaps mm -hmm. of any in Europe on Holland, which is topographically wholly dissimilar. The topotomy of the Shire. Yeah, I mean... He's basically just saying, yeah, okay, so we got... Most of Middle Earth is based on like the whole of England, and the Shire is just like rural part, right? So you wouldn't expect them. Well, then why are they hobbits? I guess would be my question. <laughs> but to introduce some kind of racial diversity without including anyone who's not white, fucking based. Does it say that somewhere? No, no, it's just oh, that okay. was just my take. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, now I'm starting to question. Well, these guys like, are different, but, you know, we don't want to. You know, it's just, you know, they're just different white people. Yeah, I wonder. The Hobbits are actually probably from somewhere more far away, and the Shire is, a, um, like, an enclave of them. As I, someone I who guess. has. I don't know. Oh, that. yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I think so, because, like, the elves aren't, like, from Rivendell. Well, actually, I guess they are from the same place, but the it's literally the turning of the age to the age of man. So, like, another race is starting to pick up. Uh, you know, yeah. so um, that's why the elves are leaving because they're like, we're fucking, we suck, dude. I couldn't even stab a sealed or and fucking end this, so I'm just gonna leave. What a bitch. Elrond is a bitch. I just want to point out that Frodo failed. Frodo did fail. <laughs> <laughs> Sam should have pushed his ass in. 
They're like, sorry, Mr. Frodo, and just fucking. <laughs> I would have. I'd have drop kicked that man. I'm like, this is what you get for fucking sending me off and believing Gollum. What's wrong with you? How long have I been here with you, you fuck? Piece of shit. I mean, goddamn you want, Gargar. You're gonna believe this guy? This guy is He's so a little clear. crack addict. Look he's at him. He's so clearly evil. <laughs> yeah, he's so <laughs> obviously evil. Like, what are you You know what, fucking, even Smeagol's evil. Both of them. Gollum and Smeagol, they're both fucking evil. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's life, man. Yeah. To yeah. take the first list is a parody of that of rural England, in much the same sense as are its inhabitants. They go together, and are meant to. After all, the book is English, and by an Englishman, and presumably even those who wish its narrative and dialogue turned into an idiom that they understand, will not ask of a translator that he should deliberately attempt to destroy the local color. Tolkien is- Yeah, I mean, this is just- it's still just- That's a translation versus an adaptation. Man, this guy just really hates black people. It's just- <laughs> It just keeps using the N-word. I bleeped it all out. This is my own one, so I bleeped it's it all out. Outrageous. I'm saving all of you, but it's just- <laughs> Just got an N words, got a couple C words. It's just like, uh, C words. Ugh. Which one am I talking about, Patrick? I'm I don't know. Can you those. explain that one for me? Please? Cracker. Cunt? Wait, is that okay? I was actually thinking the Chinese one. Oh. Ugh. What do you mean, uh? What does that mean? That's like distasteful. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tolkien is telling the translator, the Dutch publisher, and his own publisher that the languages he created and the cultures that inspired them are integral to his work. You can't simply change them to make them more Dutch to allow. Yeah. Well, let me. Let me. He didn't finish the sentence. Let me let him finish. Allow the Dutch to see themselves in the story without fundamentally changing the tone and intent of his story. Yeah, I'm still just not convinced that just changing the color of somebody's skin does that damage that he's talking about. That's that's my main thing there. My yeah. main argument was that it it probably doesn't make sense because if he comes from a place that's a bunch of white people and he's just a random fucking black person, then it stops making sense. I agree. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're it, that's rehashing what we talked about before, but... Are we talking about... Wait, you said it doesn't make sense if there's just, like, random black person... Or miss a... One random black... Like, yeah, if yeah, Numenorians, yeah, no, I, If most yeah, Numenorians are white and it takes, everyone's it, it, just randomly it black, a, it, it makes no sense. It takes sense. away the immersion. It, it, yeah. Yeah, the rules just start breaking. I mean, like, why? Why? It's just like, is he, like... Does he got a skin condition or something? And then, like, is he, this like, is how, the, this, a reverse this, albino? Like, what's this happening? This is how everyone reacts. Just like, what? You just can't, like, perceive that... What? Is race so big? Like, like, well, like, no, he's a human being, so I can't perceive. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, if you... If you... I agree with your statement. I know, I know you do. But I'm just saying, uh, dwarves, if they had a different skin color, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. They're not humans. <laughs> I don't know how like dwarves might be like the ones who mind all the time were pale but the ones who stay outside are just like dark skinned like that might work humans wouldn't be extreme in that way like they would be darker or lighter but you'd still like say the ones who are outside are white people but like you can have like the ones who would go in the mines be fucking golem pale and the ones who come out are Denzel Washington black you know <laughs> oh. um, because they're just not human so their skin could work different like who says they can't even though they're all from the same area, maybe their environment just affects them in a more extreme way. Aragorn is a human being, though. Uh, there's some wiggle room with Numenorian, but the way he acts, other than his age, the way he acts seems to be human being. So it's tough to say if he's the one black Numenorian, you start questioning why. <laughs> it sticks out for no reason. Mm -hmm. He takes great offense at these changes, getting to the minutia as only Professor Tolkien could. I encourage people to read the whole letter. It's amazing. He ends with this perfect pimp slap. Quote, May I say now at once that I will not tolerate any similar tinkery with the personal nomenclature, nor with the name slash word hobbit. I will not have any more humpin in which I was not consulted, nor any hobbell or whatnot. L. Yeah, let me, uh, let me reread that first. May I say now that I, I will not tolerate any similar tinkering with the personal nomenclature, nor with the name... Such word hobbit, I will not have any more humpin. Okay, so yeah, he's not changing. He's like, I'm not changing shit. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, I guess that's fair. Um, I would agree that this statement 
sounds like Tolkien would really not fuck with this adaptation. <laughs> I would agree. Um, that doesn't mean we absolutely can't. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how much... The nomenclature is also what's getting me. I'm not 100% sure what we mean by that. Um, like, he's talking about the word hobbit. He doesn't want you to change the word hobbit. Because that's... It's clearly a made-up word, right? So he's just like, no. You're fucking... All words are made up. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's clearly a fantasy word for made up for his book. There you go. Tell me I'm nitpicking. Fuck you. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's clearly his his own original word, so there isn't a reason to translate it. Other than, like, actually making the symbols work. Like, I don't know if you put Hobbit as it appears there in the Chinese version of Lord of the Rings. Probably don't. Um, so, yeah, it's... I, this seems like yeah, Tolkien would not like this adaptation. So, then the question is just, like, how much you would care, right? Um... I'm not immediately going to say you cannot do this change in the adaptation just because Tolkien wouldn't like it. Um, it's something I would take into consideration. Um, but just because I he personally thinks something is disrespectful doesn't mean I have to agree with him, right? Sure. Um, but it is, it is useful and it's definitely interesting. It makes me think. Uh, but there are... If you watched, like, the, the end of the House of the Dragon, like, shit, where people talked about stuff that was in the episode, I disagreed with a lot of their interpretations of what they put in their own fucking thing. And so I stopped giving... Like, if they told me, oh, you're disrespecting this, I'd be like, I don't really give a shit. I don't actually agree that you made the thing you say you made. <laughs> so, mm, interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> you wouldn't know. What do you know, Patrick? Fucking nothing. Those dwarves, trolls, yes. They are mere modern equivalents of the correct terms, but Hobbit and Orc are of that world, and they must stay, whether they sound Dutch or not. This actually, yeah, with that last sentence, it sounds like he's entirely not talking about... He's literally just talking about the nomenclature he made up, right? Like, this seems like it's entirely actually unrelated to whether or not there's uh, <laughs> black people in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Because black isn't new, no, like, the, his skin color wouldn't be new nomenclature as hobbits or dwarves or whatever. Yeah, but I think the point he's getting at is, like, this guy wouldn't even accept the fact that this word doesn't sound like another, like, it comes from a different language. Like, I don't think he, the point is being, like, this guy definitely wouldn't be okay with you changing the entire lore of a character because she spent so long describing, like, this character looks like this. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if we can, if we can extrapolate, which I think is a pretty reasonable thing to do here. Yeah, I would still just say, well, he's talking about the uh, translation. So, um, so it's it's not one to one. It does. Yeah, it's definitely not one to one. I just don't know exactly how much it applies. You know. Basically, what he's saying here is, uh, Tolkien wouldn't want black people in it because he's a horrible bigot. I think that's... Yeah, that's... No, you got it. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that was, like... Yeah. That's the charitable, I think, interpretation of uh, Tolkien's word. He's, he's from a different time. It's like, you know, your grandpa's racist. Yeah. You, you just let him... Sleep. You're not gonna fight. You're not changing him. Come on. You know what's weird? I think uh, my grandpa, my dad's dad, is actually less racist than my dad. <laughs> wow. That's, uh... <laughs> Impressive. Yikes. <laughs> it is. It is yikes. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does that even happen? I, I don't even want to know. <laughs> not. If you think I'm being absurd, then I shall be greatly distressed, but I fear not altered in my opinions. The few people I have been able to consult, I must say, express themselves equally strongly. Anyway, I am not going to be treated a la Mrs. Tiggywinkle, followed by... I'm sorry, Mrs. Who? I'm not even Excuse going to me? <laughs> what year is it? Well, it's probably 1930 it or whatever. Said it. <laughs> it's a uh, Tiggywinkle. And then they said another name, so I guess maybe that's like her translation to a different thing. Because he said Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, but then it's a French thing. that I, It's like Poupette a la Le Pingle. So. That's not real. That must have been some important fucking book that got translated or something. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know though. Patrick, I just killed two tree sentinels. 
Oh my god. There were two tree sentinels? Later on, yeah. That's crazy. Um, there's a bunch of them, actually. Nah. Not that Beatrice yeah. Potter did not give translators hell, though possibly from secure ground than I have. I am no linguist, but I do know something about nomenclature and have specifically studied it. Dude, and this, I am actually very angry. Stop using indeed. the word nomenclature. And <laughs> and JRR <laughs> Tolkien stop that. <laughs> yeah, well, he can't stop it. He can't even start it anymore. What is this? Fucking dude? white. God. Oh, <laughs> like oh. I think it's. It's, it's like a, my favorite joke. Patrick, why is Michael Jackson bad at chess? Because he's dead. Because he's dead. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna fight a bear. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna I'm gonna play first, and we'll fight bear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, dog. No. Oh, yeah. And that's just what Tolkien has to say about people translating his works. In different... Yeah, so that's... He's, he's literally saying it's different. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. I don't know... I, I, I'd i really be curious if, if something wasn't trying to be passed off as his work. Like, it's like, oh, here's an adaptation of his work. Um, I don't know that he would be as upset. Because, like, if you're translating, that's still effectively... He wants it to be as close to his words as possible. Because you're... It's still his name on it as the author, right? Yeah. Um, so that... I feel like he actually has a bigger personal stake in a translation than he would an adaptation. Um, I, he, he, his, his thoughts might not change at all, but that's how I kind of feel like it. Um, I'm trying to think how much I would be offended. Definitely, if people changed it in a translation, I'd be like, dude, you just fucked us all up. I would, I would be 100% on Tolkien's side. I might be okay with, like, you changing Hobbit to Hobbito or whatever it was. Um, I might be fine with that. Um, I might not. It depends. It depends on the reasoning. You just gotta tell me why it changed, and we might be able to work with it. Um, like, if it's, like, actually, no, Hobbit already means something, or it's, like, you're half meaning this thing, it doesn't work in this language for XYZ reason, I can see all that. Um, but if you said, hey... I'm gonna take your fucking story, and I'm gonna make magic cards, and this one's black. I would just immediately be questioning why, and I'd be like, okay, well, how does it make sense with this? <laughs> um, and if I don't like the two answers there, I'm gonna be like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I wouldn't immediately dismiss it, I guess. <laughs> but I'm more probably more progressive than Tolkien. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just going to say I'm more progressive. We do live in a different era. Yeah. For sure. I'm not blaming him. It's just true. I'm I'm as bigoted as I am, which I am very, very bigoted. Tolkien is more bigoted. In letters, he complains about the idea of people changing his words and creating art and adaptations based on his works. He was very I, precious about this. Nitpicky, but still on point. They're literally not changing his words. They're making a picture on their fucking card game. So it's literally not even words. So... Get fucked, anime avatar. Just about this, and with good reason. We've seen too many times what happens when people don't care about the work, but like the idea of playing in its sandbox. They destroy what was- I, I totally agree there. Like, Star Wars and Marvel is exactly that right now. It's just people who don't- Like, there's some Marvel people who are talking about they don't- I, I don't have any quotes, but I know it's been said by some of the directors and shit. Like, like, they don't actually really give a shit about the world. They just want to tell their story, and they just ignore everything else. And it's just like, you can't fucking do that. You're destroying things. Like, you don't get to have right. this toy if it does, if you fucking break it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you have... you you. So, yeah, that, that, goes, that plays into a part, like... At what... How much responsibility does the adapter have to the source material? Uh, I, yeah, that's that's a totally valid. That is question. that is ultimately the question, right? Yeah. Um, I just I wouldn't agree. As long as it makes sense, I don't think changing race would be. It, it's not in and of itself bad. As long as you can make it make sense, I'm I'm cool. Basically. But the issue here is, um, so often it's just kind of done haphazardly. Yes. More or more often than not, I would say over eighty percent of the time. Yeah. Well, I would even say this one probably doesn't work. I would I would be interested to see if uh, Magic the Gathering has other Numenorians who are at least... If they have some white Numenorians, then I'm already got question marks all over the place. Um, I don't know how many Numenorian characters are in Lord of the Rings, though. 
Cause like it's that's like Silmarillion shit, I think. Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm not. I'm a nerd. I don't, I don't care shit. <laughs> um. Yeah. Matter, was created, often attacking the original creator while doing it, and then go after anyone who likes the works as they were. This is how you get people like David Levitt saying ignorant things like this. Quote. The same racist Nazi fuckers who complained about a black elf in the rings oh, no. of power and a black mermaid in the new Little Mermaid are now throwing a fit because there's a black Aragorn in the new Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering set. I fucking hate how many racists there are in the board game spaces. Yeah, I mean, that's incredibly bad faith. I don't think that just yeah, because you bring up a question sure. about something or if you just, just don't it think... It just snaps make you racist. Yeah, yeah. Sure like, I don't, I don't actually think this this dude is racist. I, we're, I'm memeing. I don't... I get he he just he he wants it to be as close to the source material as possible. That's fine. You can have that opinion. Um, I disagree with it in some aspects, but it's just like that doesn't make you racist. Like I think he would actually probably take offense if you made like a random Wakandan white. I don't know if he'd make a video about it, but I'm sure he'd be like, "That's fucking stupid." Um, yeah. Which I would agree. It would be very fucking stupid, especially Wakanda with how isolated it is. Doesn't make any sense. Um, so oh, yeah, this guy. Here's, here's a good. Here's a good. Here's a good um, <clears throat> example of how you can be like. I, I don't even consider this race swapping. It just. It's just something else. So in the movie, we were just talking about this. I don't. Funny enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Last Samurai. Um, mm -hmm. Tom Cruise, which is played by a white guy. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, the Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise is played by a white guy. <laughs> played by a white guy. <laughs> Tom Cruise, a white guy, is, um, is becomes like a samurai. Mm -hmm. um, he's a European character, and he's 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 a he's from America, and America. Uh, like the story follows him. Like the, the, it, it makes sense within the story. Like it's not like it's not just like some random. It's not like this guy is just white and he grew up in, like mm -hmm. he's just in Japan. Like, it makes sense. Like, the Japanese are very isolationist, and, like, they don't know, if they're not sure about him, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't then... there... Yeah, well, well, keep going. I'll, I'll bring it up afterwards. Keep going. And then, yeah. It was... Sorry. His place know. within their world makes sense, based on the movie. I don't want to go through the entire movie right now, because it's exhausting. Oh, I got you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it's a great movie. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while. I don't remember... Not like it. I remember my mom saying, I've never seen more blood in my life. I was like, in The Last Samurai? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, all, there's some blood in the end. Yeah. Not, not crazy. Um, don't, don't have her watch Kill Bill or anything. Right. I was just like, yeah, you'd fucking have an aneurysm if you watch Kill Bill. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, isn't there... Wasn't I thought there was a famous, like, either European or American samurai, though. Um... Cause there, I, was I swear. An, there was a legitimate black samurai at one point. Yeah. That's really um, fucking cool. Yeah, there was... Uh, when I was playing Neo, because I think one of the main characters in Neo is, like, European. It might be the main character. I don't remember. But uh, I remember reading something about it, and they were saying, no, he's actually based off this one character. <laughs> like, who's, like, a real dude. Um, and then people were like, oh, it's, like, shitting on, like, Japanese culture. Just, like, Neo's made by Japanese people. <laughs> Right. Like who the fuck and, is this um, white American to tell them enough, that they're the, shitting on their culture? The, the movie, the movie, The Last Samurai. Mm. God damn it. Um, is uh, is like one of the highest grossing films in Japan, like of all time. Like yeah. They, the, the the yeah, like the the culture, like actually, well, they just accept the, it. They they just they just really like it. They, you know, they, they it's a solid story. Good, yeah. good, good good representation of their culture. Yeah, especially if it's a dude who comes there and does nothing but respect the culture to the point where he became a samurai. Like, yep, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not a samurai, but if I was, I'd be like, yeah, go white. Even you're a samurai to me, buddy. It's Thank okay. you. Uh, I was a samurai at work. We had a we had a group called Samurai, which meant we were like. But well, you had to change it, right? Remember we that? did not have to change it, but I oh. I did have that come up. Uh, yeah, somebody just fucking emailed me. They're like, yeah, that's cultural appropriation. And I'm just like, like, kill yourself. Is it? <laughs> and then, so I asked a bunch of people, and people were like, I don't know, I don't care. And then I emailed HR, and they were like, here's rules on how you figure it out. I was like, no, I don't want rules. I want you to tell me whether or not I'm going to get in trouble for this. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't. So, but, you know. So, yeah, don't call something samurai. Um, um I don't... I 
I did email, I emailed the Samurai Masters group, which it probably shouldn't be called Masters anymore, because everybody's moving away from those terms. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I emailed that group, and then the one from Japan was like, literally no one here gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct, that's the correct, yeah, the Japanese have it down, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's also not racist, disrespectful, because, like, the Samurai people were supposed to be the really good people at, like, identifying issues and <laughs> giving you design feedback and shit. That was the point. It wasn't like, here's the people who suck. <laughs> like, mm. like, yeah, we weren't warriors or whatever. I don't know if we had honor, but like... Steven, we, we was kings. kings. We, was, we was kings, indeed. The only racists I see are clowns like you who think black people are so shallow that we need every character to look like us. Uh -oh. I'm black. I oh, he's black! Wait, hold up. I Who's love black? the Lord of the Rings the way Tolkien wrote it. Oh, so we were totally wrong, Patrick. He can speak for all black people when he says they feel included. Look at that. We found him. Oh, the guy who's speaking? Why does he have a white avatar? I, I thought it was like Middle Eastern. Oh my god, it's like a leveling war. I'm sorry, what? I thought it was like a Middle Eastern one. He looks kind of brown skinned. He does not look black. Maybe he's just part black? Maybe he's like a Patrick Mahomes or like, something? It's like mixed. Yeah, he's like the rock. Is rock Patrick black? Mahone? Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. No, he's Owen. Oh, my name is Owen. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm confused. Um, I'm scared. Patrick Mahomes is yeah. He's it's like a quarter black or something. Like that. No, I don't care. No, I'm just saying. Like maybe maybe he's just partially black. Right. But if he's like three quarters white, then of course you feel represented. Three quarters of you does. Come on now, dude. But I, I don't think it's unreasonable for people to be like, hey, I would like to see some black people in media. Oh, yeah, he's mixed. Yeah, I, don't, I don't watch football. Okay, oh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, 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 that guy is definitely black. <laughs> yeah, he's black. He's 100% black. Well, he's like 50, but you, you get it. <laughs> yeah. It is 100% chance that there's black in him. That's what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I... Bigot Steve is what we call him. Bigot, old oh, no, Bigot Steve McGillicuddy. Sorry, I'm killing a thing. Okay, it died. Um, but yeah, it, okay, that does change some of the stuff we were saying earlier, which is kind of funny. We're gonna look dumb. Somebody's gonna clip us out and be like, "Look at these fucking racist yelling at this black guy for being That's white." Okay. That's it's okay. okay. We we allow that. <laughs> we we allow that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's we? You know who we're talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's like when the Jews talk about the secret Jew meetings. I'm like, okay, can we, can we not? Feel a lot I'm, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> can I come? I'm like, no. Okay. <laughs> what if I say Lahayim? Can I come then? <laughs> you know what is that? You know what that means? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so I think it means to life. Hooray! <laughs> I don't know. I'm... Anyway, so. but now he has he has anointed himself. The speaker of all black people, so that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad we've got the one who can speak for them. Uh, toast used for drinking for personal health or well-being. Okay, so yeah, say so yeah, like to health or something. It's like a, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I think I I know I've heard that before, but I couldn't remember what it was. To life yeah, would probably yeah. make sense too. Um. <laughs> all right. Kill the thing. That's cool. I've read the books every year since 2003. I've watched both versions of all three films at least 20 times. I can even recite the commentary track for the sound. I, That's I just do not care when people are just like, yeah, my nerd cred is real. Like, I don't care. I, I just really don't care. Just, do you have good arguments? That's what I care about. I don't give a fuck how many times you watch Lord of the Rings. I don't give a fuck if you're black. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, just have good arguments. It's fine. I have bad ones, and I'm white, so I'm in the double negative, you know? Zod. And I'm a You man. can't tell me anything yeah. about loving the Lord of the Rings or Middle-earth. I don't need those characters to look like me to relate to any of them. And I don't need your racist revisions. So, Yeah, I don't... I just... I'm not... I don't think that people say they absolutely cannot relate. It's just... It's just what we were saying earlier. It's just... It's it's good to see some people who act like you. It makes it much easier because you don't even have to be empathetic and just be like, I understand struggle. Or you see, like, some black characters who succeed at things. Aragorn is a very powerful character. He's very good at fighting. He's a goddamn king. So it'd be like, hey, look, even in this fantasy world, my people... Oh my god, they were Kangs. They were. They. <laughs> well, no, he wasn't Kangs. He became Kangs. <laughs> we will be Kangs. 
That's it. <laughs> or was he ever the king? Like, did he leave before they crowned him? I think so, right? What? No, they crowned him at the end. Remember? I know, but I'm saying, like, be he left Gondor, or was... Yeah, because he was at Gondor and they left, right? Yeah. He was never the king originally, right? He was, like, next in line and he left? Yeah, he was, like, he, he turned away from his destiny. He was just, yeah. like, he, he just went off to fuck off for, like, a century or two or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's chill. He's like, I'm gonna go live in the woods like a fucking... Yeah, you're a ranger. I'm gonna be the best goddamn ranger ever. I'm gonna go buy Strider. And then fucking Legolas is gonna dox me in fucking Rivendell. He's gonna tell everybody who I am. Who the fuck are you, Legolas? He's okay. Gonna dox he said, he's like, that's Aragorn, th son of Arathorn. You owe him your allegiance. I'm like, shut the fuck up! I'm Strider! Why do you think I came up with that name? Come on, Legolas. Calm down. Okay. Can we finish this 15 minute so fucking video, please? No. Okay, yes. I figured, I figured tongue behind that. your teeth, snake. And by the way, like the cards aren't even consistent. For example, they race okay. with Aragorn and Galadriel, two characters who are explicitly described as having pale or fair skin. But mm -hmm. Arwen, Galadriel's granddaughter, is white. Oh. I didn't know that Arwen was Galadriel's granddaughter, first of all. But that is... That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I would totally agree with you there. I'm sorry, I, I missed I missed some part so, of it. So, uh, Galadriel was also race swapped, and she's black. Um, and Arwen is white, even though she's Galadriel's granddaughter. Apparently. Yeah, it's, all of this is fucking retarded. That's that's really fucking retarded. I mean, it's it's it doesn't mean it's not possible, especially if it's just all. Of, Our next video else. should be is is using the word retarded bad. Uh, yeah, we well, can even find out. The R slur. My answer is I don't care. Did you did you hear about that uh, Linus Tech thing, Tips thing that was happening, where he was just like. Um, I was watching Family Guy, and they just dropped har r all over the place. And they're like, okay. It's like, I don't remember them doing that, but that's fine. He's just like, I used to use it when I was in, like, middle school. <laughs> and then the dude was just like, you used to use hard r in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> and Lions is like, yeah. And he's just like, are you fucking serious? He's like, why did you do that? He's like, I don't know. I just thought it was fine. And then he's like, wait, hard r means retarded, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no. 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 <laughs> and he's just like, oh my god. That shit was so funny. Uh, it was spread around the internet, but it, that, that shit was fucking hilarious. He just totally thought it meant retarded. Good times. How, how innocent. I know. Poor Linus. He's the whitest man <laughs> who ever whited. <laughs> he's also white and rich, so he's, he's privileged. Absolute. Okay. All right, I got I got like 35 minutes left. That's okay. We only got like three minutes. We should be able to get through this. In the book, in Rahil the Fair is a 50-something-year-old white dude, but now he's a young black guy. Legolas, who's known for his golden hair, is clearly not. Well, that one, just uh, nitpicking that last one. That is not an internal inconsistency in the thing. It's still the same adaptation problem that you have. Blonde. Uh, same with this one. Also adaptation. Oh my God! I'm dying to a boss. You're gonna need to unpause it, Patrick. But you just paused it. Oh, yeah, but then a boss attacked me, like, right after I did that. I, I got it. I got it. You just did it. I know. <laughs> just kill the boss. I'm trying. Okay, oh. I died. It's literally died. a defining <laughs> characteristic telling you what clan of elves he's from. Just ignore. Then we've got Asian Butterbur, Black Hobbit, Brown Man of Gondor. None of these are inconsistent, though, right? Well, maybe the Brown Man of Gondor is if a bunch of other people, a bunch of other Gondorians. Um, I didn't. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize Butterbur was Asian in the card. In the, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> it's just a fucking uh, Hobbit. I don't know, dude. Like this, everything is terrible. That's true. <laughs> everything that's not white is terrible. Patrick Macklin. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> Find him at I'm the not, MGM National. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> I'm just ahead of the curve. Uh, just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you're a bad guy. Just but, guy. But you, you are a bad guy. I have to put Sam in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, and then hold on. Uh, you're you're good. You can do the thing. You're fine. Okay. Figure out your life. All right. Come on. Let me free up. I need to free up. You need the up in for my salmon. Okay. Go do that. I'll be here. Oh, 
While he's doing that, I will attempt to kill this boss. But I dubs. Alright, hold on. Uh, okay, you're back already? I'm back. Hello. Oh, I'm fighting the boss. So if you want to unpause, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh. Currently winning. You know. You ever just fight a falling star beast, Patrick? No! Yeah. You would. Fuck all this. Ooh, I'm about to win. Got the dub. Let's go. All right. To celebrate the dub, we will watch this video. Door. Black-ish Westbold Rider, but the Easterling, you know, the ones who are supposed to be Asian, now they're white. White. Ah, uh, base. Yeah, what is, oh, is that true? <laughs> they actually race swapped one to white. That is so fucking wild. Oh, one of the Easterlings. That's crazy. We're. I wonder. Were they actually described as, like, Asian kind of looking in the books? I mean, he I'm said sure that. that. I'm sure they were, yeah. Yeah, they were probably at least different skin color, right? <laughs> and they made a black color one into a white person. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. Bad guy. Yes, that's the one example. Oh, I'm going to use that now. Oh, the example I normally go to when you talk about uh, race swapping, I was just like... Uh, well, they made uh, Jesus, who was Middle Eastern, into a white guy. So there you go. It has a great historical advantage. And you know why they did it? Is so people can relate. The Europeans could relate to him. That's like, probably 100% true. That's exactly true. Oh, my 100%. God. So now if I hear people complain about it, I was just like, is Jesus white? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, I'm atheist. I'm like, but we we're talking about fantasy world, so he's allowed to be black or white. <laughs> Please engage with my argument. <laughs> Please, it's all I have. <laughs> no, you religion. <laughs> Start crying. Right. It gets worse because somehow when Gandalf the Asian dies, he's reborn. <laughs> Is he Asian? Black. He's black? I don't think either of those are what he said they were. And it's like Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf the White, and Gandalf the Asian. Asian Gandalf the Yellow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Right. If he had a yellow cloak there, Can oh we... my god. <laughs> this is, is this I didn't okay? think either of these. He said this guys? one was black. Are we bad guys? <laughs> We're the ones with the skull pins. We're like, are we the baddies? <laughs> 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 um, I, I don't, this one doesn't look black. Don't call him, he just looks like Gandalf, dog. I know he does, but he just said he's Asian and black. I'm gonna rewind, try to, like, ten seconds. And this guy's grasping his trolls. The only one I can tell for sure he's not white is Aragorn. But Aragorn, yeah. Yeah, the other ones, I, there looked like there was a, a brown Numenorian. Or a uh, Gondorian, rather. Now they're white. White ginger woman. Oh, yeah. What is happening? Based. Oh, it gets worse because. Oh, yeah, so this he is has, Asian. He does, he does look kind of Asian. Though. He might just be squinting, though. I'm yeah, sure. I know. It's, it's, on, it's, it's on the line. That's that, I think that's racist saying he's Asian just because he's squinting. I think that's racist. Yeah, wow. Wow. Based. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, when Gandalf the Asian dies, he's the reborn as Gandalf, Gandalf the Black. The Asian. It's, well, he called the Black. <laughs> that's a, who yeah. Is, who is so, this guy? First of all, it is Asian. actually a different. <laughs> like body right in this economy <laughs> so it could change uh, i'm not saying it should but it could it is actually a different body Dude, um, this guy is... but I, that one's not black i think this one actually does kind of support that it's asian his eyes are still kind of uh, less round i'll say because <laughs> i'm legitimately not trying to be racist i'm just trying to describe asian features i cannot express this enough <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what else to say, man. <laughs> I gotta talk about the shape of his eyes. What words would you like me to use? Y'all bad guys. You and this video content creator. Uh, Hashtag all content creators are racist. Don't ask me. True. Right. Every single one of them. Especially the, the ones <laughs> arguing for more diversity. It's the same person. Race swapped. And he's not the only one. It's quite literally not the same person, right? His body is gone, right? Isn't it a different body? I think that's Dude, why I he has different hair they're color. They're like angels, man. I, don't... I know, he's a fucking... <coughs> I'm dying. Oh, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the doing? whiteness just fucking got me. Yeah. It's just disgusting, really. Um, but Truly. It's clearly a different body. That's why he has different facial hair color. And his hair is just different texture and everything. So... I don't think that argument quite holds. I'm also, I don't think we went from Asian to black. <laughs> I am just not at all on that. 
Well, then, he, then again, he thinks his avatar is black, and it's it doesn't look black to me. So. Calling him Gandalf the Black is outrageous. <laughs> Gandalf the Asian and Gandalf the Black. All right. Jesus Christ. Why is it when Gandalf got stronger, he became white? Huh? What the fuck? You, Steven, you know why. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he, Michael Jackson did. Michael wow. Jackson got less strong though. Yeah, no, he weaker. just became yeah. Michael Jackson <laughs> went from black and cool to white and a pedophile. Yeah, so. and went really, really not cool. Really not cool. <laughs> yeah. So checkmate, racist or anti-racist. Yep. That's don't proof that black people are better than white people. And yeah. definitive proof. Let's just take both sides so no one knows what they call us. <laughs> <laughs> we're fence sitting. That's what it yeah, is. <laughs> we're fence. We're we're taking. We're going. <laughs> It's like the uh, Always Sunny meme. He's like, I'm playing We're both like, sides, hate... so I always come out on top. <laughs> we hate English. We hate white people. We hate the English. You know, <laughs> We're saying outrageous. I hate everyone people. equally, okay? It's fine. Uh, it's cringe. You're it's cringe. like uh, on a Family Guy where they were like doing a thing where they were slaves or whatever. And then Stewie says, I'm half white, half black. That means everyone will accept me. <laughs> 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 but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> no one will. That's, uh... That's real sad. That's funny though. But that's not funny. <laughs> Mary Adoc Brandybuck, white. Mary Esquire of Rohan, black. Same person. How is this happening? I don't think that one doesn't look obviously black to me. It does look a little bit darker skin. I'll give them that. Um, it also could be happening because it's just different artists. You know. You'd think the people painting the pictures had no idea that these are the same people, but then there's clearly a mandate to depict Blaragorn and Queen Cleo as black. Did he say so Blaragorn? Yeah, he said that earlier, too. How are you That's messing crazy. Up? I'm surprised he didn't catch that. He said that, like, in the first, like, two minutes. What an outrageous human being. <laughs> he's black. He can say it. He has the N-word. Oh, he does. He's black. <laughs> well, that's what he said. We don't actually know. Um, you can claim you're black. We don't know. Yeah. I can't. You can see me. Here I am, super white. Yeah, but you don't know I'm not black. I I do. <laughs> I technically right now don't. You could actually be a different person, but I have seen what I believe is you. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Yes. I don't know. What I'm saying. All right, we got a minute forty-eight. Let's see if we can get through the Blairgorns and the it's Gandalf the Blacks no <laughs> and no see way. what we can do. But that's not the one. <laughs> this is the one, and you really do need to look at the screen. Nothing is okay. more important than look the, at screen. the screen. Aylmer. Look at the screen. Don't look at the card. Here's Aylmer, Aylmer. And here Aylmer. is his biological sister from the same. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh my god. No way. Okay, that's Wylan. That that one is absolutely Wylan. These are way better arguments than the just the Aragorn one. These guys bring up this guy brings up good points. A, he does now. Some of his earlier ones were like, eh, I get it, but like, uh, I don't agree. These ones are like, no, this is in completely internally inconsistent. So it's, we're fucking, we have lost the plot in chasing diversity. We've completely lost the plot. Um, so I, I agree with him there. This is, uh, this are bad. This are woke and are bad. I'm, I'm dying to a white wolf. Coincidence? Uh, yes. It wasn't the Winter Soldier, though. He should be called the White Wolf now, right? Wasn't that uh, what they were going to call him? That's like a way cooler name, too. Yeah, well, he's just not the Winter Soldier anymore. He's not yeah. uh, brainwashed anymore. So they it's, it's almost offensive that they still call him that. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy about it. Hey, remember when you were brainwashed and forced to kill innocent people? Wasn't that cool? We're going to call you that. That's the real you. That's who you are. <laughs> that makes up your entire person. I'm like, Jesus, fuck you, dog. God damn it. It really hurts my It really hurts my feelings. From the same two parents, Eowyn. That's How fucking, in the that's, hell that's is bonkers. he white and she's black if they have the same white parents? Wizards of the Coast were so busy trying to be inclusive and diverse Steven, that they didn't even you know, keep track of the shit they were changing. Don't you know genetics is a construct? Oh yeah, it's a social construct, aka nice. it's fake, which social construct doesn't mean it's fake, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a, yeah, genetics, just, race is a social construct. 
Until we start being like, look, these two skeletons, you can't tell what race it is. And then people who are biologists come in and be like, actually, <laughs> I can tell what's going on here. I remember that was going around like 10 years ago on Facebook. There was an x-ray of two people kissing. And they were like, this is so great because you can't see anything. You can't see their gender or their race. And somebody's like, well, here, here's the gender. You can definitely tell gender. <laughs> yeah, they were like, well, here's where you're wrong. This is a white dude and a black woman or whatever it was. He's like, here's how I know. And it ended up being, like, totally correct. That shit was fucking hilarious. It's like, oh, fucking please. dumpster, idiot. True. Get scienced. And then they had the nerve to drag Elijah Wood into this and pay this man to make a video admitting that Bro. this is all just fan fiction. Yeah, we know. Leave he Elijah did. Wood alone. Yeah, well, he's saying, yeah, uh, they they dragged him in. Wizards of the Coast dragged him in. Uh, but it's not really, he's not really wrong. It is... Although it's got the Lord of the Ring branding on it, so it is official in some way. It's not ultimately J.R.R. Tolkien's work, so it's fair. It, I don't think it's in, entirely unfair to call it fan fiction. It's not like canon to anything, you know. It's just in magic, you know. Yeah. 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 Didn't need to hire him to tell us that. This is why this stuff fails. It's not because everybody's a bigot. Sure, there are plenty of bigoted people who jump in to stoke the flames, but they aren't most of the people complaining. Ah, uh, it's a magic card. Noble. Hold on. Stoke the flames is a magic card. Oh, stoke charger. the flames. I remember oh, I blew you the fuck out with that card once, and you oh, shook my hand cool. because I did it. It was it's very cool. I don't even remember what it was. I just remember I was like, I'm going to do an attack, and he's going to be... He's going to block this way, and then you <laughs> burn me I'm just like, I'm going to fucking tap all of my goblins and big ol' stoke the flames. Good magic oh. card. I had all the uh, the Friday Night Magic promos. I won one and then just traded for the other ones. Stoke the Flames is in my the cube that I'm playing right now. Wow, nice. why the fuck do you do people who run rats and their fucking creature decks need to fucking kill themselves? <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Did you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, yeah, a little bit, not too much. I remember everyone thought Dark Hole didn't wrath the entire board, and so I was playing against a dude who just was like winning and then he Dark Hole. I'm like, okay, pick up your cards. He's like, why? I'm just like. You blew up the whole board. <laughs> then I proceeded to absolutely fucking obliterate him. He felt real dumb after that. Right. Stuff fails because One your claims that people Ooh. can't relate to Rough. these stories and characters unless the characters are exactly like them are false. Million I just don't... I don't think anyone actually believes that. They just want more diversity. Um, and they're, they sometimes clunkily add it in there. I would agree. This are clunk. Clunk or dumb? I don't think anyone's saying that everyone has to look exactly the same in order for them, or exactly like them. Because I don't fucking look like Aragorn, even the white one. I don't look anything like him. <laughs> but I identify with him somewhat. He's just better than me. He Millions of people have he's fallen like in love daughters. with Tolkien's stories and related. I mean, he's, he's 80 years old. And I, I look o older than him, and I'm fucking 30. You know? <laughs> My hairline is struggling. Okay. But I can't say bigger yet, even though I just did. Related to his characters, despite looking nothing like them, because people are more than just their appearances. They are drawn to his characters because they want to know more about those characters, about mm -hmm. those people. They see the similarities in their experiences and the characters, and that gives people a better understanding of themselves and of others. I mean, yeah, I 100% I agree there. It is more important to have a good character. It would be better if we had, like, a whole bunch of non-diverse characters but they were all good than it would be to have diverse characters that are bad right, right. Um, i'm gonna identify with good characters um way before i identify with bad characters who look like me so <clears throat> that point stands i believe yeah, based and red pilled and i'm just gonna say black pilled too why not not white pilled though no. not white pilled Never white pill. What, what, what even is? That's the whole. I'm not sure. What what would white pill? Well, white pill, black pill is when you're like well, really dumber. White, what, so white yeah, pill, white would, pill be, would be like having hope with the yeah. world or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. Well, why is it the the black one is the bad one? Hmm? Because we associate black with death. It's because you're racist. That's what it is. Yes. The point of storytelling <laughs> to convey ideas from one person to another so we understand those around us. When you race swap characters, you aren't making some grand statement about understanding, tolerance, or acceptance. You're just telling everyone that you're so shallow and narcissistic that you can't relate to anyone who isn't exactly like you. Uh, I don't think that's what it says. Uh, I think it says 
it, it does make me start questioning why they do it. Um, but I think it says they're just like, hey, I thought I like I I cherish diversity in my characters. Um, I'm adapting this thing. I don't think it's diverse, so I would like to make it diverse. You can disagree whether or not they should do that or whatever, but I don't think it says I absolutely can't identify with people who don't look like me. I think that's an incredibly uncharitable reading of it. Yeah. Maybe if you stop pretending to like Tolkien's works and actually read his books, you'll learn to think better of others and yourself. But what do I know? I'm just some guy. True. We did it, Patrick. That it? We solved racism. That is it. Okay. I do like his little outro thing, because his name is some guy. It's like, what do I know? I'm just some guy. That's good. I like that. Really brings it full circle. Yeah. Good. What did, you, what, did you, what did you learn, Patrick? Anything? Are you educated? Is your racism solved? Are you more racist, less racist? I, I, see, I don't believe I was racist. Uh, yeah. okay. um. <laughs> <laughs> no, who knows? Who knows? Did you learn anything new? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, I, gotta, I gotta do my own Okay. Uh, what did I learn? Um, uh, I learned anybody who ever changes the race of anything is a horrible bigot who cannot see past skin deep and cannot possibly empathize with other people. I learned that. That's true, uh, yeah. <laughs> I learned, um, anyone who doesn't like when we race swap is a Nazi fuck or whatever it was and they need to stop being such a basement dwelling nerd or whatever that one tweet said. Uh... I learned that despite having two white parents, you can indeed have one black child and one white child. That was good. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the things you brought up, like, I mean, it's a fucking car game, but stakes are so low, like, it doesn't yeah. fucking matter. But, like, if there were any kind, if there were anything that was just, like, you know, a movie or a TV show or, like, mm -hmm. a narrative something where, like, things like this kind of matter in terms of immersion like it would be like what the fuck are you guys doing like this mm. doesn't make any sense right yeah um, i i thought his last little bit there not all of them were good but like the ones especially when people were related i thought those were really good i'm just like yeah this is really internally consistent so it starts it bolsters his point about aragorn like being just like having a bad motivation even more and also the, the whole thing is just like yeah you can do this as long as you know it makes sense and it's done well my end and, point is just like it's done it's done poorly <laughs> most of the time this is an example it doesn't of make that. sense yeah. yeah yeah so so because the the idea is that they, they care they care more they care more they care more about their politics than they do about the arts itself yes which is not good generally. no it's horrible it's like the worst thing yeah it it's pretty bad so so yeah, so I, I started off somewhat against him, not entirely against him, but I started toward the end. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Anyway, that's it though. Is there anything else you want to say before we say goodbye to the people? No. No. Except okay. uh, fuck Steve Jobs and don't mm -hmm. at me. Okay, that's fair. Anyway, Patrick, I had a lot of fun with you. Thanks for coming on. I really appreciate yeah, of it. Of course, I had a good time. I yeah, hope. I uh, Hope to have I'll you leave. on another one. Maybe we'll talk about uh, how cringe women are, or I don't know, something, yeah, some other these, hot button these, topic that'll get us both th canceled. These things are both based and true. These are based and true. Yeah, true. Um, anyway, thanks y'all for watching. All we'll right. be streaming again tomorrow, probably. Right. It looks like my, before my name. Uh, games. If you want to check out my YouTube channel, it's Husky Star Starcraft. Yeah, the Husky Starcraft. Link is in the description. The actual <laughs> one is in the description. <laughs> it's not the Husky Starcraft. <laughs> Um, anyway, thanks y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Okay.